permanent. I did something that lasted for ten. Oh yeah, yeah. a lot of text right there. Yeah, Is this, it's basically saying it? it's basically yeah. saying that like <clears throat> uh, Zombru, just what? wish for him to not come back to life. Yeah, uh, <laughs> easy. I'm a wizard. I can wish. <laughs> Actually, warlocks have wish too, don't they? I don't think warlocks uh, get wish. Do they not? Because can't you pick spells from the wizard spell lists at some point? I mean, there's like the. I know Pact of the Tome allows you to pick any cantrip. At most, you can get there's... ritual spells from war. But that's really. Well, there's your arcane invocation or whatever it is, too, where you can cast a spell that's higher level. I don't know what level you get, but I think. But it has to be of spells, you know. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because well, warlocks have access to true polymorph, which is a level 9 spell. So, yeah, I guess. So do warlocks always have access to their full spell list? I thought they just picked out spells. No, they do pick out spells. Okay. Why did I close that? that thing something I, was reading. I'm I wish I had access to my full spell list. That'd be fun. That would be a little broken, but yeah. Also, more than two spell slots would be pretty sick. Yeah. At a certain point, you do get is. three, but it's like at such a long time. We like you'd have to be playing a warlock for a very long time to eventually get the third spell slot. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Yeah, that's that's the one drawback. But you get invocations. Get Eldritch Blast as a cantrip. God, that hollow spell is so long. Not spaced out properly. Well, it's a, it's a. I'm pretty sure it's a permanent spell. Well, semi-permanent. So is that disease spell? It, it is not permanent. That lasts seven days. Yeah. All right. But well, we're gonna try and risk it. They would roll twenty. Good work. But we have. I mean, it still works. Yeah. It was just like earlier, it was very much not working. That way. Just a heads up. Yeah. They are for sure actually getting DDoS because their cloud flare, flare protection actually kicked in. Yeah, and I it just made me earlier. confirm that I was. Did it? That's unfortunate. I would roll 20 to DDoS. All right. Um, it seems like we all still want to risk it. So, worst case scenario, short stream, short session. Now we can all sure. go play prop hunt. That's right. Yeah, that is actually that on the stream. <laughs> yes, all of us. <laughs> Even acoustic. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm down. <laughs> all right. Let's get started. Then. All right. Where we last left off, the gang is continuing their journey throughout Adminus. Having recovered Lulu from the Hell Wasp Nest, the gang decided to head over to the place where demons manifest. First, me to stop at the Stygian dock to get their Inferno War machines coated for the ride across the river Styx. There, they met Finor, one of the warlords of Adminus who finally pestered them for answers about who they were. And they also met Basilstein, chief technical officer of Zario's army and maintenance head of the Stygian dock. Thanks to some persuasion by Zaus, Basilstein decided to request the gang's services for a job he had, in exchange for a free upgrade to their Inferno War Machine. After a short rest, the gang made their way to the spawning trees, a place where demons manifest. There, they, made a group, they met a group of hostile bearded devils, also a kind one named Crickenville. While Bailiff tried to pry answers out of, out of the devils, Zaus learned from Crickendill that perhaps one man could help them locate the Bleeding Citadel, Morgan Canaan, the world's most powerful archman. After some intense negotiations with the devils, the gang got Morgan Canaan's location, known as the Tower of Vern, and a new friend traveling with them, and a Crickendill and Earwax, his official Making their way to the Tower of Verm, the 
Yang found a whole line of Yugoloths waiting in line to meet with him in order to get jobs from him. As the gang waited, Pharaoh noticed that one of the Mezzalos there, the one that was with Gideon back at the Grand Cemetery. Pharaoh learned from him that the Mezzalot and Gideon were attacked by a goblin and a sexy man in the surface of Zariel after the gang had left, which ended with the two of them being free. As the gang took in this new knowledge, Morden Kanan appeared, giving out jobs and eventually speaking with the gang. While Morden Kanan cared little for finding the Bleeding Citadel, he did know that another mage existed in Avernus studied Avernus magic and lore, yet he might know the actual location of the Sword of Zariel. The gang also learned from Morden Kanan to provide him with any magical item they desired if they help him acquire the Hand of Vecna. The last known location was with Archon the Crow, Campion. Following that, the gang decided to take a long rest, during which Terra Lynn dreamt of Haramon convening with his new task force, the anti adventurers League. Composed of Haramon, Sammy Singer, Orin Ragon, otherwise known as the Sexy Man, Ending and below Sting Spellmate, the group discussed how to stop the gang's act activities by finding the Sword of Zariel, try and figure out who exactly among them is the chosen one. After the long rest, the gang made their way to the Obelisk, the location of the mage Morgan Kanan told them about. Choosing to leave their Inferno War machines behind them with freaking bolts, the gang made their way across the bridge to the Obelisk, only to be ambushed by Haramon's men. As the attackers sought to capture Veleth, Aang managed to best their pursuers, and discovered that the leader of the group was Akatrak, a widow from Elkaral who gave in to Haramon's temptation for a deal with the devil. Wishing for his youth back, Akatrak was forced to do Haramon's bidding for 100 years before being set free, he found himself aging out of existence after being bested by the gang. Now with the threat behind them, the gang gets ever closer to the obelisk. They finally find out the location of the Sword of Zariel, or will they have to continue to hunt yet again? Find out on. Thanks. <laughs> Just whammy? <laughs> wow. Alright. Yeah! The biggest way. Where's my health at? Found uh, it. Never mind. Okay, yeah. I feel like that should be something you should be able to find. I like how you said intense negotiations, like it wasn't just a, a blast to the dome. Intense <laughs> negotiations, like we did just murder one of them. Alright, so you guys have made it past Little Lava Pools, and you know where Akatrak was. What would you guys like to do now? Uh, uh leave. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just those who just keep going. Alright. Yeah, my perform. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys decide to make your way then to the obelisk, which, as you cross this mountain right over here, well, not so much mountain, nice lovely staircase to kind of get up there. We also leave our cars with that devil boy. Yeah, you left them with Crick and Dilt back here. Back there. He's a good lad. He's a, he's oh, a, he's a good lad, right? Remember I to speak up too. Alright. So, you guys make your way to the Opolisk and eventually get there. And that means I gotta start reading things from the book. Alright. It's about a 30 minute trek up the mountain to get there. A lot easier than you would think. So. What you guys find is a 30 foot tall obelisk ringed by seven smaller standing stones that rise from the crest of the hill. A tall man wearing tattered robes strides between the standing stones, gesticulating wildly and screaming curses into the wind. Your map does pop up at this time, Baleth, and says something to you. Do you listen? Okay, you do listen. Also, do speak up, please. I'm like an inch away from my mic. Alright, I think my music's just too loud, that is my issue. Yeah, I have my turn way down. Alright, the map does say, An unknown man with unknown purpose. Assist him at your peril, lest he drag you into madness. You see this man 
Looks very old and tattered clothes, just kind of wandering about, bubbling to himself. Uh, hi, friend. Uh. Hello? Hello? Hello! Um, um, yes, um, we were pointed here by Morden. <laughs> Morden Kanan. You may have answers. Oh, Morden Kanan. That's a name. Uh, yes, uh, tell me what brings you here to my humble abode? Little Miles. Here to ask a question or two. Uh, questions? What kind of questions is it? Just the whereabouts of a... What was the name of it again? Citadel of Blood? Bleeding Citadel. A uh, bleeding Citadel. Bleeding Citadel! I, I always know it's Citadel and Blood in some context. <laughs> he looks at you as he, as he said out like... Bleeding Citadel. Oh. Uh... That, that name rings something familiar, but, uh... Oh, but first, um... Before I can give away any information... Would you all mind helping me out with a little experiment? Depends on the experiment, I suppose? Oh, it's a... It's a simple thing, as he kind of gesture, gestures for you guys to come closer. As you all approach, you, you look at the standing stones that he is by. They're all kind of encircled around him, and they each have a an arcane symbol on them. I will say, Bela, since you're the first one who does come up, you can roll me an arcana check. This is going to go spectacularly. <laughs> uh, you have nice. no idea. But, um, the man says, Alright, all very simple. We'll all each put your hands on one of these runes, and I will channel forth the energy of the obelisk to try and push through them. Well, what particularly are you trying to achieve? What do you... Honestly, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> Listen, uh, that sounds like a bad idea. How, how about, how about, no. But if you do not help me, you will never find the location of your bleeding citadel. <laughs> so you do know where it is. He kind of looks kind of like, well, I've been around having this for some time, so I think I may know where it is. But... You will not get that information out of me, so you will help me solve my experiments. It's just such a bad idea. How is it a bad idea? I'll put my hand Because it's unknown yeah. magic. Right. I, I don't, I don't want to mess with unknown magics. Okay. Uh, I say, give oh. me just a moment. And I cast... I. I'm gonna just sit down and ritual cast to tech magic. Okay. Give me ten minutes to For all ten, ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> or wait. <laughs> Never this, mind. That you know what? I'm just gonna touch. Yeah, I put my hand on it. All right, all right. let's go. God, this is a really yeah. bad idea. Okay, well, so we gotta find out somehow. We might as well right. get get with it. I will <laughs> have um. I'll let Zaus roll me one insight check. Open to cards, Hell okay. yeah. I don't know. You're kind of lost in the Zaus. This man is just kind of like, he's just kind of wandering about, like, yes, you put your hand there. So, who is participating? I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, Brini. Car Carolyn, Brini, uh, Baleth are Zaus and Barrel participants. Wait a second. I have a helmet. Goodbye, Barrel. Great Barrel. Welcome okay. back, Barrel. Can't just pay too hard. I don't have the item card for the help of telepathy, but isn't it like you can read surface thought? Oh, Wait, what, yeah. what spell are you talking about? 
the helm of telepathy, the magical item I possess. Okay, yeah. I got a spell card for it. I'll pull, hold on, let me pull it up for you. I think it's a common item in the D&D book. Yeah, it is. Um, oh yeah, Cloudfarer is a... I will give it to you. Or if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, that works too. I was going to say, I could just look it up. I'm going to lower my mouse sensitivity. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's a cloud for me. You actually have this... You've had this item long enough to actually attune it to you. I'm going to ask for Yeah, I, I was... Yeah, I just wanted the item. I haven't attuned to it yet. Alright. Uh... Arrow, participating. <sighs> there are eight spots. Yes. Okay. And lastly, Zaus, are you participating as well? How many are required for this? Um, well, he asked all of you to do to join in, but there are eight spots that you. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck it. One. Okay. There we go. The man seems very happy as you all kind of come in. He's like, oh, goody, goody. Yes. Can I have the southwest spot? Uh, sure. But, um, uh, alright. You all have your hands on it. As, as the magic, as the man starts to kind of channel the magic. I need each of you to roll me a d8, first of all. Just straight d8? Straight d8. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Bailiff. I mean, you get two. This is how much damage we take. Probably. <laughs> Bailiff, I need you to re-roll your D8. Uh, just one D8. Got it. Yeah. Rug. Oh, whoops. Okay. Did that wrong. And did that wrong. Hey. All right. <clears throat> so. There. That's an actual. Oh, fuck. You well, no, can't roll that. The uh, I'm going to keep no, your one. The one. Well, the one was because I put a slash after it. All right, then please re-roll it again. Or you got it too? Yeah, I got oh, some. Sure. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right. So the man starts chanting some words. Um, I believe Zaus is the only one who could actually understand him, as he says, "Let's go, jailbreak time!" As um, the obelisk kind of shouts forth. Uh -oh. The energy comes crackling through. Uh, you all, first of all, take. 19 points of lightning damage as you're all shocked from the experiments. Alright. Oh, I do. Alright. Not even, uh, roll there, huh? Not even, no save. You all take uh. 19 points of lightning damage as you're all shocked from this. And, uh, I'm gonna go down the list. Greeny. Yes. The rune you touch begins to glow during this as a little bubble comes and surrounds you. Add plus two to your AC for the next 24 hours. Whoa! Hey! Of course Please keep that mark, though. Only for 24 hours, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a note of it. Okay. Uh, At least I didn't gotta... get the extra. I got a three. Alright, uh... What the hell? I have to look this up now. Christ. Avon just didn't want me to have 20 AC. It's, 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 uh, it's real. <laughs> it's true. Not exactly. Uh, I mean, it's, it's whatever. Every enemy uh, does 38 uh, on their dice, anyways. Alright, uh, actually, Valet, you get uh... plus 6 to my AC. Nope, uh, but your <laughs> eyes begin to glow wide as you, began, you, gain the, you gain the benefits of this spell that sent you. Forever? No, for only the okay. next hour. Only okay. the next hour. I was about to freak the fuck out. <laughs> oh no. Your what? eyes begin to glow, Valeth. As you do see something, but I have to get through the other three first, so That's give me one moment. Six is next. And me. Alright. Arrow. You watch as um let me just see here. All right, barrel heads or tails? Ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck. Uh, heads. Heads. 
Okay. Barrow, you watch as um, after you're shocked, you see this swarm of bats coming flying right at you. But they just kind of stick around and hover around you, almost like they're just kind of following you. Bat friends! Uh, Zeus. Yes, I got bats and rats now, but you need. Oh. Poor, poor Zeus. Uh, I can't wait to murder this man. I'm excited. You realize as this thing is going on that you have touched the arcane rune of. You've seen it all too well with your buddies Mercool and uh, Ball. Uh, you take 30 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> Shit! Jesus Christ. Oh. Are you still up? <laughs> yes. Good. good. Really? Right. His soul is not sucked out of his body. Yes, but you are just blasted with necrotic energy. And then lastly, Tara Lynn. Uh huh. As you come back from being shocked, uh, something seems a little bit weird about you. As, um, you look at your fingers, and they're a lot bluer than you remember. Uh, for everybody else looking at Tara Lynn, her skin is now completely blue. That's cool. Good old That's pretty cool. Alright, as you all un recover from that incident, Zaus, since you're still standing, you do hear the man shout out in a language you know only as Abyssal. Oh, God damn it. It failed again, as you veil it, see this man, what he truly is, given what you got. Um, I already showed this to you, because Bal- because Zaus actually summoned one of them before, but you can all pull up your Algura sheets. Uh-huh. I just raised my eyebrow. That's what he looks like? Yes, this is what he actually looks like. I just raised my eyebrow and like, huh. As um, he tries to recover for himself, for the rest of you who don't have true seeing, um, he says, oh, oh, ah, damn it, didn't work. What didn't work? Uh, no, no need to worry about it. After I take a second to recover, I'd like to walk up to him and say, hey, now give me one good reason not to murder you right now. All right. As you actually try to approach him, Zaus, um, you cannot get past through the stone. Like, he's in a circle that is surrounded by stones. As you try to get closer, a little bit of a barrier surrounding you, surrounding him. Can oh. I cast spells through it? Um, Hi. Not exactly, but as, um, what is it, Bailiff? Do I, do I see Zaus just get blocked? Yeah, you do see him get blocked. Uh, can I just cast Dispel Magic at level 5? Uh, <laughs> would that work? Thank you. I hate to be that guy, but uh, it's not going to work. On the, on the uh, like circle. Yeah. But as you do try and cast it, uh, he notices you and he says, "Oh, uh, trust me, I tried that before." Hmm. Oh, you trapped here. Yeah? He says, and he looks to you and he's like. Oh, let me guess, you got the, the good one, didn't you? The divination rune is what you touched, isn't it? I'm unsure. Alright. He recognizes at this point that he's been caught, so he sheds his form, and you guys all essentially see a Balgura in the circle. Similar to the one you summoned before, Zaus, but not the same one. <sighs> that would have been wild. Ugh. So now that we played your little game, are you gonna tell us where this is? Where this? It's not a game. I'm like seriously just been stuck here for a very long time, and I just want to go home. You know, I could send you back home theoretically tomorrow, even if you give us the information we're looking for. He looks. You. There's no way you can do that unless you have. You're more powerful than Bell. Oh. Uh... Who? It looks you, no, Bell. No, no. You know, former Archduke of Avernus. You know, Dariel's weapon boy now, or whatever. Mm. No, no, Bell. Master. Bell? Monster. Sorry, what was that, Zeus? You know, Bell, the, the girl from the store with that mom. <laughs> <laughs> but he kind of shouts. 
he doesn't like he doesn't really seem he seems not so much upset that he hurt you guys but he seems more upset as if uh what he was planning didn't work Ugh. no matter what i try to be able to get out of here as he just kind of slams the bubble i could try well my why are you in there that is a good question well Long story short, I pissed Bell off and, uh, you know, rather than just kill me and send me back to the Abyss, uh, it's either keep me here for fun. Huh. Uh, have you just tried, like, yeah? Uh, have, have you tried to, uh, like, eat people? Because there's eight runes. I mean, I don't know why people are going to show up. Hell, if any, the only other people who show up are Morden Kanan's voice. They all just come to life. Uh, next time we should try to get eight people. Well, actually, he, he looks to you, Barrow, and he's kind of like... Alright, to you. I guess. Are you really desperate enough to find this leading citadel? I yeah, mean, it is kind of. I'd say so. Our current and only reason for being here, so. All right. Then I guess this demon here has got to be a little bit more civil, as he just kind of sits down. I am Ubalex the Bulgura. And. On a time, you know, I used to be powerful Bagura messing around here and out. Bill Bell trapped me here. But, uh, if you could really help me get out of here, then, uh, I know I can help you find your bleeding citadel. How exactly are we supposed to get you out of there if you. So we have to be more powerful than Bell to... Well, there is, um... There is another. See, when I was first brought here... There was a... Some, a representative for a man who goes by the name of Mephistopheles came. And offered to try and get me out, but... Being foolish, I really... I thought I could solve the situation on my own, but... Lo and behold, that wasn't the case. I have a Terra Lynn's house in there that will meet history checks. As he as he mentions the name Mes Mesistopheles. Nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. you, no. At least you asked the people with the best intelligence. Yeah. Well, time. also the people who could potentially know this. He's. Yes. Of course, I refused his help at the time and. I don't have no idea how long ago. But, hey, but, is, yeah. Do we, see, do we see the Tower of Arm from here? Just like off in the distance? Uh, you'd have to make a perception check, but, uh, yeah. there's a lot of shit in between. Yeah, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay. There's the giant demon right there. Vanith actually has eagle sight and we just didn't know it. <laughs> I mean, Vanith has <laughs> access to <laughs> true seeing it? right now, but that's only for an hour. Wow, you didn't have to let them know. I mean, I kind of let the rest of them know. Alright. But, uh... Listen. There is a place, though, where he and his representatives stay, I know of. They call it... Fear of Mes Mephistar. And, uh... I'll be kind enough to... All the way over here, as your map comes out, as the names mentioned. <clears throat> Someone there could probably help me get out. And so you're looking for somebody to help. Uh, you. As you as you groan, Barrel, he looks to you. And he's like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! You should trust me on this, because I know it's so the... far away." Yes, but. You know who I know? The man who has come here and watched and rather than gloat just seems a little bit forlorn and sad? Olanthians. 
Lamptey is gonna come by, and I know where he stays. Who? He looks to you, Brini. <laughs> Lamptius. Nariel's right hand man. Anybody knows where this have to be. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Oh, it has to be. Positive of it. Lanthius is. He looks. He looks to you, Vale. He's like. He's, he's never seemed happy with the current situation he's found himself in. Unlike the ass kisser Haramon, Lanthius has always had his own agenda. And what you want, Dario's army really knows every almost every spot in hell. The fact that you haven't gone to them for your bleeding citadel must mean that they don't know it. <clears throat> I mean, they might not. That was <laughs> funny. That's a good joke. So, what do you say? You all go to the mirror, tell Mephistopheles, ask him how I can get free, and uh, I, I tell you where Olanthius is. You know, you just go there to his little crypt, and he'll probably easily show you how to get to your. You know. Leading Citadel. Uh, I, I, I guess. Wonderful. I mean, I need to sit down for a minute. One more person that we need to yep. find. Yes, we're just ferrying ourselves from one place to the other, trying to figure out where the Citadel is. Well. I need to take a rest, regardless of what we do, but... Uh, I also need to take a rest. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not tired. looking too great. <sighs> Alright. Well, good work, team, as, uh, Google Lux is just kind of sitting there in his bubble, just as you all just kind of walk away to go rest. Yes, you did yeah. do a whole lot there. Alright. Uh... Hey, hey, bats! You want some food? Uh, the bats hey, just continue bats. to circle around you. Um, Bale, if you look up at Barrow, there are no bats above him, but everybody else <laughs> sees the bats. Can I go look over towards the Tower of Urn again with my? Tell me a perception check. They're not gonna tell me the bats aren't real. No, you're happy about it. Wow. All right, <laughs> you peer, you peer your eyes. Kind of widely, and you do see there is a tower way, way, way off. And it does it look the same from what I can tell? Yeah, still the same tower. It. Okay. Well, do we want to head to Kirkenbolt with our cars and take yes, a rest? We should probably at least um, travel to our vehicles first. Yeah. yeah. Ubalax, um, he does say one more thing as you all begin to. He's like, wait, wait, wait. If, if we're gonna speed this along, huh? There's a faster way to get to the mirror. You just yeah. gotta. It's not shown on any map, but there is a bridge that leads up north. There's only a bridge problem across the river is thick. Yeah, it's a bridge, but the uh, only problem, of course, is that uh, that's where uh, not Zara Hill, but another person's team lives. Who's that? Well, that would be fun. Archon. As you say the name, he kind of just is... But, uh... Archon's probably reasonable. You just give him something or you do something uh, for him. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. He's... he's he, nah. I wouldn't say he's reasonable. Yeah. Well... <laughs> but he's better to deal with than Zariel's crew right now. So I got all... Is the bridge wide enough for a, I don't know, a good big vehicle to cross? Uh, probably. I can't really if see mo most past this obelisk, but uh... If we're at the obelisk, could we see the bridge that's up right here? Roll me a perception check. I'll have you and Brini. Perception. Or have me roll a perception check. Yeah. Uh, you guys do see a bridge. 
It does seem like you could potentially travel across in a in a war machine. And you Way said that out. this bridge was too fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's too. It's, it's not so stable right enough. Not so stable. Okay, so yeah. we'd have to drive it like all the way around over here. Google uh, X is just like, oh, you, you could just walk to, you know, what's ever faster. I'd rather have the war machine. If we're going all the way over here, yeah, we may as well take our vehicle. It would make it much faster. It's probably definitely faster. Anyway, regardless, we need to rest, so we have. All right. Um, Later. You guys walk away from him. He tries to follow, but is hit by the bubble. He's like, "Oh wait, that's right." Uh, um, as he's hit by the bubble, uh-huh. uh, if you if you ever get free from that bubble, do come find us. Uh, I think I might have something of interest to you. Uh, Roll me a persuasion check, with us. Uh. uh you say that he looks a little bit kind of like, uh, okay. He doesn't seem too interested though. Mm. All right, would you guys walk off? All right. And take uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you so all, all the way. Well, I'll just drop from level twenty, so uh, Same. give me a moment. So on the way to the Infernal War Machine, um, I'd like to say, so the plan is, after we rest. We head up to Ark on the Cool and take his uh, amulet, right? And then head to the mirror. How does that sound? His amulet. I thought yeah, we were looking I mean. for a hand. Or er... something of the soul? It is and called that. Bad. That is what Morgan Canaan told you. The hand? Oh, uh, the hand. Sorry. But does that sound good to you guys? I mean, I'd rather Sounds great. Yeah. have a big fight with my, uh, this aura I have about me from the obelisk. Alright. So, a few things. The first... I just, I really wish these bats would respond to me. That That's all I want. I would like to not be blue, but, you know. Is Daryllyn blue in my eyes? Uh, yeah, she is still very much blue. Uh, honestly, Tara Lynn, I think the blue suits you. Thanks. Does it match my eyes? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> All right. So, a few things. Oh, no. Do you rest um, before crossing the bridge to get to the machines, or do you spend the full hour walking back to your Inferno War machine? Spend the full hour. It's a yeah. Bad I like our new friend, but I don't trust him that much. Wait, what was the question? Sorry? Uh, the question acoustic was, do you rest um, before crossing the bridge back to the machines or after you get back to them? I mean, I'd rather do it before, but I'll do whatever, whatever anyone else wants to do. Uh, I, uh, there could be more of those that, that that group of Haraman's homies. They could be more of them. <laughs> they could be there. We did <laughs> just like we did just kill the, the last group maybe three hours ago. But no, it's only wanna... been like half it's only been like half an hour, forty five minutes. Oh, well like yeah. forty five minutes ago. Uh, it's not that big of an issue. May maybe. I'm just worried is all. Yeah. I think we'll be fine, but Oh, okay. All right. So my other question is: Is this a short or a long rest? It's a long rest. We need a... Is it a long rest? That's I'm why. Long. Yeah. If we were doing a long rest, I would really rather go back. I literally have yeah. zero spell slots. Oh. I was on like eighteen or twenty after uh, the lightning, and I cannot bring up my character sheet just so you guys know. <laughs> Uh, Same though. I Ooh, see boy. four of us. Yeah, I don't see Valeth in here. I, I see don't everybody. See <laughs> I don't, I don't see Avon or Valeth. Oh yeah, I okay. see Avon. Yeah. 
All right, wish me luck, everybody. I'm going to try and reload. I suggest page. opening in a new tab. Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah, that's fine. I did not try that. All right. I didn't. World I sees my browser page, I guess. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Avon, I think we're going to have to cut down on the number of viewers watching the stream because this is really ridiculous that Roll20 gets DDoSed every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so. I'm going to turn this music off. Just kidding, Chad. I love you. All right. I have reloaded. Um, everything seems all good. The test seems to work. I do not see Tara Lynn in here, though. No, nope, yeah, I don't I'm see not Tara Lynn anymore. Yeah. Okay. Greeny, do you have access to your character sheet? I do not. But I could always just roll. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I see that. No hex. I clicked it, and it's like giving me full on blank thing. Yep, I still have my character sheet open from my... Oh, uh, the character the sheet has tab. loaded. I also have a character sheet now. Uh, Brini? Yes? You have your character sheet? No. Are we long resting? I anymore? also don't have one. Yeah, All we right. said long. Oh, you yeah, I just wanted to make sure really you cool. didn't have anything big. Uh, what is, is it? If roll 20 would work? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also, if roll 20 had a button where um you could save something as like a, a state, and then you can just click like a um like a like a long rest button and everything would reset to the maximum stuff. That like would be dope. D and D beyond. I, that would actually be pretty cool. Um, I wish they had a way to export things like her character sheet. So. Well, I do have a character sheet. Oh, there we go. Quite as updated. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, cool. I got. Of course, I, I yet again get that your connection to the server has been interrupted. Message. We oh, it's gone. Probably can I don't. It disappeared. Yeah. So. Mine did that, but then went back to okay. So okay. I think. Uh, we'll see. All right. Yeah, that's what just, I was uh, Everyone do a nice test roll. Also. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, will, I will roll in a oh. deception check. Yeah. All right. I'll it all seems to be working. Because I haven't had to do that in forever. It's making me sign yeah. in in my character sheet. Oh. Oh, yeah. That means it's trying to reload another version of it. Just close it and. Yeah. All right. There we go. So we long rested without issue, right? Um. Well, I was I going to. Pop it out. I was going to kind of tell you what happened as you all. Let me get there. Let me know when you're good, Charlie. All right. Oh, good. I, just, I can't. Okay. Nice out. imitation. So. Oh, I got intimidation. It. You guys all leave the obelisk. Spend the full hour walking back across the bridge to Crick and Dolts. Nothing major happens, um, you're fine. You get back to the ruins and find Crickendolt there. Both machines and your wax with them. It's only really been about like two, three hours since you guys left him. And he's kind of like, oh, you guys are back. Thank goodness. How did it go? Hey, Crickendolt. Anything happened? Yeah. Uh, you all talked at once, so it was kind of hard to hear you all. <laughs> But, uh, I, heard... north. Uh, I guess after we rest. Uh, okay. uh, how long does this good thing last? Uh, Never. I will. I will message. You. Okay. <laughs> Only to get you to calm down. I should have. I think it's fine. Um, well, it's I mean, really, if it hasn't worn off by now, uh, uh, is that you can kind of see how it went because I'm blue. All right, Job you are you that. are a lovely shade of blue. Um, all right. I do believe though, after a full hour does pass, um, Bailet's eyes go back to normal. Barrow, the bats just vanish. Uh, Zas was still injured. Oh. Uh, he can't undo that, unfortunately. But, uh, <laughs> Ow. Uh, and Rini still has that little bubble around him, and Terrilyn's still blue though, sure. as you guys do down the rest. Rickendale does tell you that nothing major really happened. 
It's only been like two, three hours, and no one's really come by. That's good. Do you need any food? Uh, food? You know, don't you guys I have? Don't, I don't know how devils work. Yeah, yeah, I was just wondering if you needed food. We do eat. Uh, he he pulls up a little his little backpack. He pulls out like a piece of flesh as he starts chewing it, chewing on it. I got this to kind of cover me. Cool. Nice. Okay, good. Is it an identifiable piece of flesh? Uh, roll me a nature check. It's another chicken. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Ooh, uh, big rock. Pro probably more chicken. All you can assume. <laughs> Tastes like chicken at least. Yeah, you guys, you have no, you have no. Uh -huh. All right. Nope. You guys gonna do the long rest then? Yeah. What we do? Certainly. Yes, Zaus? I'd like to, uh, I'd like to pull Tara Lynn aside. Mm -hmm. And say, uh, you know, I've noticed you've been looking a little blue lately. Sorry, you're gonna die. <laughs> 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 um, mm, mm, mm. But uh -huh. what, what could really accent your, your new skin tone is a, uh, nice pearl necklace. Would you be, uh, would you be interested in one? I, I haven't pulled, pick one up. Why? I just, uh, I feel like I don't need it anymore. Was... It is free. You, there's there's no payment necessary. I was trying to get with Terry Lynn. Okay. Hell yeah, lightning. Okay. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright, Terry Lynn, uh, you now have a pearl necklace. Okay. I can remove this from my character sheet. I'm happy. <laughs> you just want to get rid of it? Pretty much. Accessories! Right. They'll go great with my crown. Right. Hell yeah. Long rest. Oh, that's right. You still have- you're still wearing that crown. I'm still wearing my crown. Okay. So... I need four people- are people gonna do watch or are you all gonna just rest? Um... We could let Kirkendall watch, maybe? Yes, um... Alright, so you do put the bubble around you, Barrow. I also help. Alright. So Valet and Crickendall, unless any anyone else wants to do uh, it. Oh, I'll take also a shift, yeah. but as long as I get I'll my rest. Alright, Terralyn, Valet, Brini, and Crickendall. I'll have uh I'll have Brini go oh, Valet goes oh. first, twenty-five. I mean Brini can go first, it's fine. Uh you already rolled, too bad. Okay. Uh hey. you look out, Valet. Not a whole lot really. You always hear some screaming from way off where, or like, people just fighting, but it's hell. And there's nobody really coming towards you guys at all. Alright, who's next? A... That's one. Ooh. Uh, Brini, you look out, um, nothing really kind of out there. You do take a look into, um... You know, kind of walking around. Look at this little green hit of goo or whatever. Not really sure what that is, but um, kind of look about. You notice that. Actually, no way. You... No way you can ever see. Honestly, nothing out of the ordinary. Like no one's coming towards you. People fighting and shit off in the distance. Or no one really sees. Yep. Alright, turn on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there. Huh? I don't really see anything. Yeah, I didn't think I would. Alright. Then you go to bed, and then I'll have Crickendall. He sees double nothing. That's about it. Uh, but turn on do I have a dream? That yeah, you do. And write these things oh, out for a reason. Huh? Alright. Erlin, find yourself back in that same metallic room with the window facing out in front. Uh, it's been a while since you've been back here, but you notice Zariel and her chief. And the, the woman before Nariangala kind of just stand there as the two of them are just talking. Arya and Gala is very much like 
Right, uh, Miss Mistress Zariel. The the news the city of Alterol gets ever closer to Avernus every day. Soon we can have our and begin to swarm it once Gideon is back up. Uh, watchtowers are splendidly. We're able to notice the demons before they come out, so we can keep them from overrunning us like last time. And uh, lastly, Bell says he'll have those weapons ready relatively soon. That at that point, though, Dario kind of speaks up. A bad Bell. He never really gets his job done, anyways. He just gives you. He's just gonna give another good report, but those weapons take forever to get. Anything else, Arian Gala? At which point, Arian Gala's gonna be like, uh, well. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll search through, ma'am, as uh, she starts flipping through the notes. Do you notice at this point, Terralyn, that Zariel, Zariel has taken notice of you? And she's kind of like, uh, you know what, Arian Gala, you can, you can go. She's like, oh, are you sure, ma'am? And she's like, yes, please step out. At which point, Narian Gala does leave. Dario kind of just stands up. So, Aramon tells me that you're not Gale. So you look very identical to her. As she just stares at you, but you kind of, you know that just at this point that she never really came to her. Yeah. Unless you want to say something to her. Well, whoever you are, though, I don't know what you're doing here, but please leave. Yeah. She kind of just looks at you and she's kind of just frustrated, like, you know, I'd feel a little bit better if I knew at least the Gale was in the crypt. But even Olanthius says that never did climb. But how many years ago was that? You kind of just pressed, you no know, hand on her head. Like I miss you. I miss you all too. I wish you were you, but you're not. But I'll just tell you this: as she very much walks up in front of you, very intimidating and imposing. I don't know who you are, but one thing I cannot forgive is that you brought Lulu into this. I got I Lulu. You got Lulu into this. She doesn't hear you say I that, can't which, hear me. yeah, right. Like, I didn't For want dramatic Lulu, reason, reason. I didn't want Lulu to come back to this place. Not after what he did to her. At which point she kind of just kind of walks through you, essentially. You, could, you try to follow, or maybe you don't, but just kind of stuck in this room. Eventually, you get to dream that. I have a quick question. Yes, sir. When we went up to the obelisk, where was Lulu? Oh, she was with what you was guys. I just, I just kind of forgot to RP her. Oh, she's always okay, just, that's fair. She's just floating behind you, just all happy. That was your chance to make the sinister character arc for her. You, you ruined it. Yeah. Lulu being sinister. <laughs> oh, no. mm -hmm. All right. That's where Lulu turned into chaotic evil. Yeah. All of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, she uh, touched a stone and it made her evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a fix for that. But she didn't do it. All right. We all wake up. Everything seems normal. Uh. Freaking Dell does ask uh, what the plan is now. Well, we're going. The plan to... is to ride for a long time. If we're going to the mirror of Mes... Mef... Mephistar. Mephistar. Yep, that's the place. Uh, Mephistar. Del... He doesn't really know what that is, but he'll stick around with you guys. Discuss. I'm glad you're trying to get to be. Crossing a not very well known bridge belonging to. 
Who does it belong to again? You're asking me? Listen, you know things. I don't know shit, dude. You think I'm paying attention? The guy we're trying yeah, to get from Mephistopheles. I from mean, those. it's Archon, Archon the Cruel. Yeah, yeah. Archon. That guy. Wait a second, who's Archon the Cruel? Uh... Is that the guy with the hand in the, the other stuff? The, oh, did you it's see the guy with... Yeah, yes! The dragon guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got him. Yeah, yeah the dragon man! Listen, this is just my character's bit. Alright. Um... I can't remember shit out of character, so my character is just gonna make... Yeah. Okay. Well, as you do bring that up... He... he the Gundel looks a little bit kind of concerned, kind of like... Uh... You sure that's a good idea? I mean, even if you're going into his yeah. territory. Should know. be fine. I uh, mean, like, listen. It, like, didn't, like, something bad happen to him? Isn't, isn't he, like, out of commission for the time being? Uh, his crew is, like... Yeah, we're, that's we're decimated, oh. quote-unquote. Yeah. Oh, I think those kind of well, like, I guess that's true, but not bad. I don't think he'll be alone. I bet he still has people, but uh, I'll trust you guys, though. Really? All right. I mean, he'll have an, a significantly weaker force, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Quick and Dull acquiesces, and well, I'll let my don't do that. What, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> As I stare at the camera. You can turn blue. Alright, listen. Listen, Rat, are that's blue. my bit. <laughs> Valen looks at her hand, she's like, wait a second, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, we're already blue. <laughs> wait a second, I'm blue! <laughs> the is still Half the blue. party is now blue. <laughs> All right. But are you making fun of blue paper, Tara? No, I'm just upset that 60% I- 60% of the party is blue! <laughs> I thought- uh, I thought Barrow was more of a green. No, his hair is green. No, he, he's- it's, um, like, it's grayish blue. All right. I did. Uh, Valith. Yeah. Roll me an Arcana check. Mm. Let's see here. It's blue-gray like the snake. Alright, a 16 is good enough. Uh, you know that you could probably get rid of that blue faster if you probably did a remove curse on Terra Lynn. Mm. Terra Lynn doesn't know that. He does not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, she'll only keep moving that. Alright. I would like nope. to do a stunt. Uh, <laughs> Dex check, please. Oh, yeah, I should probably Ten. Well. That is like that's the, the, that's the DC. Yeah, the bare minimum in the past. You do stunt. So to be very Fuck clear, yeah, stunt. You guys stunt are going to drive way. all around here to get to here. Is that correct? Yeah, because yes. we can't make it across the bridge, and we're all just gonna <laughs> abandon our machines up across. All right. So first of all, you gotta mark off two soul coins for restarting your machines. Mm -hmm. Both, for the, both for the Demon Grinder and for the Devil's Ride. Barrel, I don't know how many soul coins you have, have but does someone mark one off for you? Or do hey, you have a spare you, one? Barrel, why don't you just ride with us? Your your vehicle is really just a sink on our money right now. <clears throat> <laughs> Barrel is a sink on our money, huh? It's a very large sink on our money. <laughs> wow. I, okay. I mean, I guess, but it's really fun to stun. We could try the stunt in this. You, I. <laughs> things would happen, but uh. Okay, so. <laughs> Pharaoh, on really on radical. I do need someone coming. to mark off a soul coin for you if you're going to start so... driving your doubles right again. I don't have any more soul coins. Does anyone have one I could borrow? I if will I borrow, pay I for you. yours. I, I will pay for it. The Zaz has oh, one thank you, Zaz. Has one. All right. So Zaz puts in, and I'm assuming they're both full charge spells, soul coins. Indeed. So they'll last for 72 hours. 
And it's probably a good thing they both last for 72 hours because you guys spend about a full 10 hours driving around this whole area. Of course. It's pretty crazy. So yeah. we got six hours left. All right. Uh... But I will speed things along because we've already gone through a whole hour. You do make it to this bridge. Doesn't really seem, it's just kind of like a little bit up from the ground. You know, the river sticks flows below it. But it probably could get both of your rides. Of course, it's like your demon grinder basically fills up the whole bridge, though. So, is Barrow in front or in the back? Uh, uh, in the front. Okay. No, 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 no. In the, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Okay. By the way, I don't know if you saw it, but um, I attuned to the helm while okay. we were driving. How many magic weapons are you attuned to now, then, Brini? One? Yeah, just one, the helmet. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Other people have other attuned magic items, so I'm never 100% sure. Yeah, yeah. My, my mace isn't an, the... an attuned thing. I have a magical shield. That's right. Shield. You have a sh... We have has a box. Sli Erlen has the slippers. Yeah, I just had the. Is his name there. Gargamesh? Wow, well, that's a fucking boat. Gargamesh. Gargareth. Gargareth. Yeah. Gargareth. Yes, Gargareth. By the okay. way, I don't know um, why I thought like Gar the name you were saying earlier is Mephistopheles. Yes. <laughs> How do you spell this? All right. I'm assuming it's M E P H. I no. <laughs> I'm going to type this I out because I we're not going to spend all day trying to figure out how to spell it. Yeah. Yep, that. <laughs> you guys you guys talk about anything else as you make your way to the bridge. No, we just show. Yeah, can we go to this cool carnival that's over here? How many soul coins do we have in total of this very Two um, left? I have one. I have one. Oh you do have one. I do. I've you just said you that. had none. No, I've been saying I have one. You literally yeah, said, you just said a you minute ago you had none. I literally showed you a soul coin a day ago. But you said 20 minutes ago you had none. No. But I already told you that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> because MJN, <laughs> that's because MJM was metagaming and saying I have three. Oh, no, so I wasn't. I, no, I was saying that we have three total. Oh, okay. That, and you that, said in character you did not have any. You did I misinterpreted that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, you guys begin to make your way across the bridge. The demon grinder first. I'll have, um... Let's have Bruni, Zaus, and Carolyn roll me perception. Oh we we yeah. brought the hell's ride, the devil's ride with us. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's so much money! Alright, let me like just... That. Yeah, so who cares? You're yeah, one that's to fun. talk. Listen, I haven't spent any soul coins this entire time. No, but you right. released one. So, the three of you actually do all see this. As... All three of us? Uh, yeah, all three of you. Whoa, Talon isn't blind? <gasps> <gasps> not this time. Not this time, <laughs> as he sees this. Flying right towards them. Oh! Oh fuck! Yeah, and that's, it very much quickly wait, shouts up above the sky. That's probably the cool. It very much shouts up across from the sky. Who are you? Why do you dare cross the bridge into Yamat's territory? We're just uh, passing through. We're looking for somebody. Passing through or looking for somebody? Which is it? I mean, oh, well, both, both, really. but we're passing through we're, to, yeah. you know. We're going to find somebody and then just straight leave. <laughs> like, in and out. The, dra the dragon flies and hovers above the bridge, and I'm assuming you all stop before you run into it. Right, yeah. No, okay. I'm running over. <laughs> 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 all right. The does anyone have Dominate Beast? Does, do does a white dragon count as a beast? <laughs> Please yeah. tell me. No, it does. A, a dragon counts as a dragon. 
those who come, yeah. this is <laughs> those who come to our con not sorry Tiamat's territory must bring tribute or gifts or food. Which do you what have? What kind of gift do you want? We can give you food. I'm How sure. much food? Uh, the dragon's mouth starts to salivate. What do you have on you? Uh, can I would you can I would you up somebody has can, can, can I walk up to yeah. Barrow and whisper? Uh, can you do that bear thing again? Mm. Barrow. Uh, I don't. Uh... It's it's wholly up to you. Uh, Brini. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess it's fine. Roll me an intelligence. Give me like ten minutes. All right. Your mind is more focused on there's a giant this is a very big dragon too, like it is um how many of you would actually know shit about dragons? Barrow wouldn't doubt it. I'll have Brini, Terralyn, and Valith roll me history checks. What, what kind of checks? History. History. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Oh, we're all good at that. Okay, so you guys have heard stories about dragons. There's like different levels among the dragons. Three of you all know that this thing at least looks like an adult white dragon. Would some uh, extremely fresh crab meat interest? Oh. Crab. What's Ooh. his crab? Sorry, I had my. Head I take the crab meat out, and dragon? I. Cast press digitation on it so that it takes. Okay. Um. By the way, Vaylet, you you kind of recognize from dragon stories that this thing is probably an adult. And all right. Take it, adult dragon. So, you step off. You got to remember this bridge is very much like, like you know, both sides are wall to wall with your demon grinder. Are you just from the top of your demon grinder offering the crap? Yeah, I'm just gonna like toss it up in the air and hope that it catches. All right, you toss it up in the air and it just easily just snaps it up and eats it all. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll be nice and say because he did use press. To... That was something. But do you have more? I'll pull out uh the silver great sword from my bag of holding. And I'll oh. offer it to the dragon. So you offer us trinkets then. But um, even as it seems a little bit coy about it, it's still just um, kind of it flies right by. The wind is just kind of brushing down at you guys as it's just hovering above you as it snatches the silver great sword with your claw. Um, is that good enough or? Good enough to get you across this bridge, but to, tr to trek further into our territory, someone must be. It's, it seems the dragon seems a bit confused, but it's kind of like you must. We must consult with Cruel quickly. As it. Ah, that should be interesting. All right, it does begin to fly over. You guys follow it. Yeah. Might as well. All right. I mean, don't want to fight it fear, at the moment. Yeah, I fear what will happen yeah. if we don't. We could find an adult. I don't know. I mean, we, we probably could, could try. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right. <laughs> so, guys, make your way across the bridge as um, your map does pipe up, Valeth. Mm -hmm. As it states. Where is the hand of evil? Yet his goal remains just beyond his fingertips. As you guys see this dark tower that looms on the horizon, black spire rising hundreds of feet, its ramparts bristling with charred skulls mounted on iron spikes. The tower's apex splits into five narrower spires that jab at the sky like clawed fingers. Circling above the tower, as you see, is that same great white dragon covered with ash and stones. As you guys drive closer to it, you notice figure shuffling about undead guards in various states. Mm. As your map 
Suppose you have reached Archon's town. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys see a whole bunch of zombies and skeletons just kind of walking about on guard. And as the dragon kind of comes closer, it shouts out, Rule, we have company and they bring gifts. As it proceeds to kind of drop the silver great sword into the tower. And you guys watch emerging from this person. Oh. Mm. It's a turtle. Yep. It's, it's a, a turtle. turtle. The turtle walks turtle? out and he's just like, What? What do we got? Oh, Batala, what are you on about? As he looks down and he sees you guys riding there. Ah, uh, everybody thinks the same thing. Dumbass rumor. Oh, as he kind of starts walking down, accompanied him with him are five of these things. Okay. Five ghouls. They're each holding a person's arm. Yeah, just the body there. Yeah, they all look like that. Yeah. Uh, Five exactly ghouls like follow him as he walks down to talk to you all. Everybody says the same darn thing. Archon the Cruel has been defeated. Ariel's forces decimated him. Blah, blah, blah. Don't they know that anybody can get a new army? You just have the right men. And eventually he does come down to your guys' level. All right. Why are you here? I was just passing through. Uh, you... Well, you want a little sightseeing trip decided to just pass on through through Tiamat's territory? Well, the bridge was there and it's the shortest way across. From where we were, at least. All right, and... Uh... Uh, he's, he's kind of just like shaking his head um, I guess you, you have some sort of tribute to uh, make, make sure you make this all better I'm I gave something to the dragon I didn't know what else you'd require Obatala is idiot she'll do anything if it just gets her food mm -hmm. I don't think Feeding one of our own is going to be enough. Well, there's can... that silver greatsword. It works uh, wonders down here. Silver is nice, but. He kind of looks to you all and he's kind of like. I must say, you guys must have some pretty big balls on you. Just coming over here. A well, silver greatsword. I didn't know we were going to have an entourage. <laughs> We are kind of um, not the best of friends with Zaria, and I can tell that you're not either. As you say that, Vaylet, his. I can't say his eyebrows, because I don't think this guy has eyebrows, but his interest does peak up a little. I mean, kind of. Really? Not friends with Zaria. But I like to hear. Yes, I'd assume so. Alright. Well, I could, you know, just sick entire undead army on you, along with the dragons. Unless you give me something good value, but uh, if you're really not on Zariel's good side and want to pass through, I think that could be your range. But I would have to talk to my boss about it. Who is your boss be? My boss is Archon the Cruel, Archon champion. Yeah. Well, we've uh, we've killed some champions of Haruman ourselves. Uh. If you know Haruman. Maybe not champions, but some of his more powerful soldiers and things. They're like Haruman. Yeah, I know that bastard. Zario's left hand man. Annoying prick. Yes, I do agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How wonderful. Yeah, I don't like him. 
We're already on the same page then. All right. Um, he whistles and a, uh, a smaller dragon, this one black, smaller than the white dragon at least, comes swooping down and Cruel gets on it. All right. Let me just confirm with the boss. Oh, go on ahead. You all come with me too. We'll have a nice little chat. In fact, you're not friends of Zariel. It's already a, a, a plus in your favor. And you know, if he likes you guys enough, he may be willing to let you guys cross. No big issue. Fair enough, huh? All right. I suppose that could be mutually beneficial for both of us in some way. So, uh, I would say get your, if you have things to give him, do when we get there. Um, he calls out, he whistles again, and another dragon, green one, also kind of smaller, comes out with the silver great sword that flies down. Um, I can actually show you guys. Green dragons are cool. Um, I'd like to use, uh, the Helm's Detect Thoughts on, uh, Zalf. Us? Yeah. The DC for right. that's 13, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he could choose to fail it if he wants. Does he know you're doing it? I, I look at Zalf's before and I'm like, I, I give him a wink. Uh... I would be staring off into the distance doing my house thing, so I'm not sure what you're going to get from me. Alright, well, the spell already works in that you can read surface level thoughts. If you want to get deeper into his mind, though, that's where he makes the saving throw. Um, and, and he will so know it, you're doing it at that point. So, at that point, I could, before the DC actually goes through, I could use message through it, right? I mean, does, it let, does that allow you to let me click the text. I don't know if any of you have it already. No, no, no. It's it's through the home. It says... Oh, you can um, communicate telepathically? Yeah. Oh, then yeah, you can and, send them a message. Pretty and they can also reply using a bonus action. Yeah, as long as I don't mean, have to. Concentration. It's, it's just as the message spell. Um, I actually don't even have to do that to reply. Yeah, because Zao says the alien whatever. I hack. He's an alien. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's like alien knowledge or something like that. He's a hacker, man. So I basically say... He's hacking those weenies. I think as soon as he sees us, and he'll he'll know I have the mask on me, I don't think this is going to go well. Yes, I, I had told you earlier that it was probably a good time to drop the drop the mask, or at least trade I mean, it off. I could always quote-unquote gift it to him. That's true. Uh, although, where would you... Say you had found it, considering a certain other adventurer is supposed to have it at the moment. I mean, unfortunately, I did tell him my name <laughs> the last time we spoke through. Perhaps it, if you, if you were to say that you had killed this adventurer, that ooh. might. Hmm. Because right now the rest of the party just thinks he went away and doesn't know what happened, so you could have murdered. Hmm. Alright. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, you guys all drive over to this location. Mm -hmm. The three dragons follow. Well, Cruel is riding one of them. But uh, you guys do get to the next spots as the two of you are having this telepathic conversation. You guys find yourself. It appears to be a colossal dragon skull that leans against the mountainside, surrounded by bones the size of houses. Bastard smoke rises from the skull's maw. A military tent has been pitched among the bones. Parked next to it, a two-wheeled infernal war machine. Scattered around the tent are dozens chattering. These reptilian humanoids with gleaming swords, white scales, and white buttery wings. You guys recognize it. Those same. Bashi that uh, saw back in Eltharal, that Victusa character attacked the High Home. 
and your map um, rolls out and says to you, Valet, Draconic devils roost in a giant skull, through which the Dragon Queen speaks with five tongues. As you guys approach Monument to And as you all kind of, you know, arrive essentially. Uh, the, the Abashi take notice of all of you. Kind of come on out, wondering, you know, what exactly is happening. At which point, Cruel kind of, you know, tells them to stand aside. That's where. Archon! We have company. You guys, watch emerging from. Oh, that's a cool looking boy. Yeah. A red dragonborn decked out in art, like, you know, full on plate armor, carrying a battle axe with him. His hand, however, is, you know, compared to the rest of his red scale body, he's green to the touch. As he kind of comes closer. Yeah, yeah, cruel. What is it? Have we not seen him before? You have no. never seen him before. You have heard of him, but this is your first time no. actually seeing him. We, we really has heard of his voice. Looks like yeah. we're an Same voice, Brini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have some uh, travelers, and they offered a gift to. Obatala of all people, but I think you should talk to them. They seem... They don't seem to be on Zariel's. At which point Archon just kind of steps aside. You all step down to approach and this man? Yes. Yes, but I'm going to make a point not to talk. Okay. Talk. Um, <laughs> Alright, Rose. He comes closer and... Looks among the five of you, and Lulu, and Crickendall. Cricken, uh, Lulu's not saying much. He's a little bit scared of this place. You know, giant dragon skull, lots of abashi, all about. Crickendall is very much just kind of bending back, not wanting to be noticed either. All right. So what have we here? Just some people trying to pass through at this very moment. Pass through. Is that what these lands have come to? Just another route for people to get by? Honestly. Such a shame. I feel as if business is a good thing for lands. How are you paying me? Not at this very moment, unless you require payment. Though I feel as if we could offer other services besides payment. If you so require. I mean, both sound nice. Still for. Uh, I would kill to get back what we lost. But. You, live? you say something, Vela? I couldn't hear you. Tell him, what do you do? Well. A uh, while ago, but. Once had, at least at one point, our possession of five masks. Needed to help free our queen from her prison. They got lost and scattered about. And even when I had at least four of them in my hands, Dario's team attacked. Less of it. Now all I have are two. So, uh, the other three you told me of. Well. I know one of them in the hand of three over at the watchtower. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, as you say, oh, he kind of looks to you, Tara Lynn. You know Krieg? I know of him. Who would have thought Krabius Krieg is a. Ah. Yeah. Uh, That's interesting. Another one I do believe is in somewhere out and probably buried. The third one 
It's been a while since I can remember, but one of my men told me a Finhorn had it. Oh, that's... Well, what if uh, what if we could get some of those masks back for you? Maybe not all of them, but at least some. He looks to you, Dallas, kind of smirks as he approaches you. You try and get at least one back for me. I think that we could definitely do that. Yes, I feel as if these masks belong to a team. Oh, well, oh, I'll use the free team. And even one would be incredibly valuable. That they are. I mean, it beats using this as he pulls out his green hand. It seems to be like, it's, it looks the cane or something. Ah. Things like that. Uh, that yeah. Uh, long story, but you search for all sorts of magical artifacts to try and free a person or down on your life. This one seems to be biting more in my ass. Yes, I believe a man by the name of Morgan Kynan was looking for such a hand. He looks that poor Kane. I really cared for him. If he wants it, then he better be price for it. I'm sure he would be able to. Though he does seem to pay some loyalty to Zarya. Everybody's got everybody here who comes in some loyalty to Zarya. The arch thing. Well, I suppose we don't come from here, so we have no ties to her. Kinda seems frustrated and sits down. Well, not sits down, but kinda just kicks the ground. A rock on the ground. Uh, everything just seems to have gone to shit ever since. Like two to betray us. The Amat shall arise again. Tears. Isn't that name familiar? Isn't. Who do you remember that name? Yes, isn't no. Victusa that Abishai that we found in the crypts of Eltharoth and Ethel? You met her. Well, met is a word. We did kill her. As you do say that, he does give a nice smirk. Very good. Rest. I'm impressed. I remembered. Yeah. Um, roll me a persuasion check. It's not like he doesn't believe you, but at least you're just trying to kind of make him a little bit more happy. Oh. Oh. And that's one wow. each. Fuck. Yep. Listen. Easy peasy. Well, with that, he's like, Oh. You guys. I like. I think I actually like you guys. A bit. Yes, I suppose I couldn't. Very I suppose I couldn't pay you to go to the material plane, free Ultis and my my one of my followers Ultis and kill Bo Finhorn for me. Ultis. Um. I, while this is happening, I would like to speak into Brini. <laughs> Brini, I I think if we're going to to make a certain trade, now might be the time. If you're yeah. not willing to tell them that you killed him, I would be happy to take the fall. And I move in next to you. Uh, I'll speak up. I'll say, um... You said we'd have to pay pretty well for the hand. Oh, well, I mean... Um, some ways, and as he does hear a voice, I am going to make a point. <laughs> Alright, uh... Rini, are you trying to hide this at all, or are you going to try and... Um... Just be you? No. Alright. Not at the moment. He does, as you do speak up and like... Your voice sounds familiar. We met... I'll tell you why in a moment. What if I told you 
I have already killed Bo Finhorn. And I'll pull out the mask. Alright, as you do pull out that mask, everybody just kind of... You know, like the Abashi, Cruel, and Archon just kind of like, their eyes glisten. Uh, roll me a deception check. And the shoulders just kind of drop. Easy clap. Easy deception check. Killed both Finnhorn. Was somebody not paying? Was somebody not paying a bounty of ten soul coins for the head of Bo Finhorn or twelve? Or something like that? Mm -hmm. Well, it's on the material plane. You can't. I don't have it on me. Well, oh. I mean the figurative head. Yeah, I mean. I would need physical proof, but I think I trust. I think this is enough physical proof, right? I mean, as he kind of looks, gestures to Cruel, and Cruel kind of smirks. There are always things that can be arranged. Especially when I get my hands on that. Build a mask. I don't even, honestly, I'm just sad I, we didn't get to do the deed ourselves, but I think I can work something out. But Now, I do think that uh, this mask is more valuable than that hand. Perhaps if you were to maybe sweeten the pot with uh, a soul coin or two. Uh, I think that would uh, would make the deal he, work. He, kind of, he, he laughs, Zaus. <laughs> oh, please, this bad boy is worth at least two masks. But you seem very inclined to it, so... I think we could work something out, though. I mean, is it worth one mask and knowing that Bo Finhorn's resting six feet under? I mean, anything, I want the body... I believe you in that you killed him, so it'll make the job easier for Torogar. At which point he does snap his fingers, and you watch emerging from a tent uh, is a very, very big boy. Like, the biggest big boy. boy. Big boy. Big boy. Oh, oh big boy. Oh, that's big a big boy. boy. That's a big yeah. boy, yeah. A minotaur standing at least 10 feet tall. Even taller than Barrow. Torogar. Uh... So some bad news, Torgar. Uh, well, Finhorn is dead. At which point, Torgar is like, yes. Uh, but uh, our my friend here left his body up in the material planes. We do manage to go fetch it though. I think we can. Uh, I could probably give these guys just soul coins after. As which Torgar says, as you command. Oh wait, go I'm gonna go. give Brittany like what's the plan now? Wait, wait before that park on the same Why wait the Torgar. Go free go find Ultis first. I think the bastard's still alive. Get him. And then as he looks to you, Brini, uh tell me, uh I don't think I got your name, but uh where did you leave uh both Finhorn's body so we can get it? Um Unfortunately, I had disintegrated the body. You were a part of this, then. Other companions to know what Greeny and I. All right. Uh, okay, Zaus, deception at disadvantage because now you're adding yourself to the story. Easy clap. Go for it. Ooh, yes. Fuck, shit. <laughs> All right. I like that Zaus has a plus nine to deception. He has a better deception than me. Oh yeah, he has a high charisma. I forgot. That's his All right. So Archon is very much is that so? But then at which point Oragar kind of shouts Uh Master, are you sure that's the case? That seems a little bit weird, but Archon's kind of like uh, Oragar Hold on. As he, they, they, he, he kind of pulls Torgar aside. So him, Krull, and Torgar kind of just start... He says, like, oh, give us one moment. The three of them start talking. I'll let Brini and Zaus roll me perception checks to see what they're talking about. Yes. Three? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you're having trouble, Zaus. Um, seem to be kind of going, arguing about this or that. Uh, Brini, you do hear that Orgar doesn't believe Zaus, but Archon's kind of just 
being a little bit more of like, you know, oh, why would they lie, you know, this or that. You know, it's like, Cruel is just very much more upset about, like, you know, he wants the body so, like, he could. As, as they're talking, I'll just shout along with them and say that we are also enemies of Zario and an uh, enemy of our enemy is our friend. Why don't we work together? I do believe they already know that they are enemies of Zario. Yeah, but <laughs> I guess that doesn't have to remind me. Alright, they all stop talking as um, you call out to them. And Archon approaches four. Alright then. You all want some of it. Seem to be very much in the business of making sure Zario suffers. I think we can work this out. You have a mask there, but Travius Krieg, man who helps run the Styx Watchtowers. Wait, sorry, I think something someone called to me. Can you give me one moment? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to cut yeah. this off so randomly at a big point. It's all good. Rainy, we're killing it. Yeah, I was very scared this was gonna go very wrong very fast. This has gone Same. really well, considering everything. I'm glad you I'm like gave, surprised. I'm glad you gave somebody a key another key to unlocking, you know, the Queen of Dragon Evil Dragons TM. I mean when Ray I heard he only had two left. Eh. It, it'll be yeah, where he fine. vaguely knows he where the other two are. where one is. No, where's the, where can always, the yeah. yeah, we okay. can always steal one. All right. And he only knows yeah, extremely vaguely keep it. where the other one is. So. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Right. Archon, Archon's are He eventually would have killed Bo anyways. That's, right. And now that's, he's not going to go after Bo. No, we're saving really. his life. <laughs> Alright, so Archon kill him um, Looks so he's back. All right, so you want? I'm assuming the hand. You know what I want? I'll tell you what. Me and my men are planning something to help disrupt Zariel's little operation. Mm -hmm. You guys seem like the best people. How about with that job? So, how about you all? We're gonna, we still have to set everything up, of course. There's a place called the Styx Watchtowers, where Kravius Kree helps manage them. Uh, and I'll show you guys where these... Right here. Oh. Yeah. So, there's one watchtower in particular. The... Re the mask is located. So, uh, of course. I'm <laughs> So how about this then? <laughs> First of all, for coming in, Brini. Well, not Brini. He, he never saw them. But coming in, letting us know good work is done. I seem seem a little bit trustworthy, even though my compatriot doesn't think so. As he looks, as he kind of glances back to Torgar, kind of like bows at you, bows at Brini. <laughs> I'll let you guys cross here encumbered very easily but uh want the hand I need to go just my men prepping a little watchtower operations Ariel has set up and getting the other mask there how does that sound to be fair we are trying to keep somewhat of a low profile because we are currently also being hunted down by Zarya what we are looking for. Oh, uh, what? So, you know, myself too, I'm being like, I'm by Zariel. As I hunt for, you know, as he points to the escort, ways to free Tiamat. This Tell me. It does seem somewhat disruptive to Zariel's. But tell me, Nix, what is it that you hunt? Nix, Zari, are you. You guys just more mass collectors or something else that sorry I looked a good uh, I looked a We're sorry. looking for a lost she relic. She has our companion. Lost yeah. relic? As your 
Okay, wait. Does she actually have one of your companions? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, she has ending. Well, kind of. Okay. And Sammy, like, yeah. kind of. Alright. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a fair. Lost yeah. the relic of <laughs> hers, and... Not of hers. Yeah. A lost relic. Companions. No, I... I don't wear his ass. I was just looking at Alright. <laughs> but be that as it may. I think on this that's I feel like our us working together to at least disrupt a watchtower. And besides, I'll probably think it was us because I'll have my men go out there too to help make things a little bit more difficult for them as you guys go in and get them. When are you gonna do this? Um, let's see if we can have a squad, a task force ready. Probably in about 24 hours. Um, we were hoping not to travel across the entirety of Avernus due to what we're looking for in this corner of the Lorena. Oh, hey, he's like, oh, hey buddy, that could easily be arranged. You drive those machines around, they're nice, but they can be a little bit clunky, and there's some areas it's hard to travel around, but you know what we got? As he kind of gives a little whistle, as the dra as you see the dragons come flying out, in addition to the red, in addition to the blue, not blue, I accidentally gave away the other two ones that were there. White. In addition to the white, black, and green one, there's also a blue and red one that fly out too. What better way to travel fast? Dragons. Flying is so much more convenient. And even yes, though Zariel has a. Oh, yeah. the river sticks without any issue. I mean, you don't have to worry about walking on it. Yes, flying over it. Yeah. Are you well, implying you... that you're gonna lend or give us a dragon? I just uh, say not give. <laughs> for this operation, so. though, seeing as you don't want to travel around everywhere, we could fly you in, fly you out. It's all said and done. And you're looking for what in particular? As he points to another one of the masks. What color is yeah. the mask? Yeah, it's, it's a white porcelain mask. Yeah, I have a porcelain mask. Um, so. Well, suppose, and what if the mask is not there? Well, that we don't really know. My That's info true. tells me it's as, there. So, well, you, but if it's if, not there, as long as we're disrupting the watchtower, our end of the deal is still yes. good, right? I mean, that's also fine too. I mean, this is my question. You're willing to um, fulfill your end of the deal, even if the mask is not there? guys seem to um i'll need you i need you guys to roll something because you're very much keen on the fact that the mask may not be there. i mean i'm just asking for contingencies okay. yeah <laughs> i mean he could always lie but <laughs> all right first straight okay archon didn't really fall on that inside check so he's like gonna roll an insight yeah so all right all right all right i mean probably if anything if you can kill the yanni mazu Crabby's Creek running it. That probably makes our job a lot easier. So, even if the mask isn't there, if you help us at least destroy the watchtowers, then we'll be fine. Okay. Right. Is it well, possible suppose... for us to take a detour before this, though? That's fine. We have to get, I want to at least get my men ready as he looks to uh, Yabashi. Okay. So, who would you us? We'll send one of our own to message you when everything is as he looks to like the five dragons kind of flying about. Alright then, so he does look to you, Brini, and he gestures his I, hand out. I am going to hold on to it till the deal's done, of course. Uh, persuasion check, Brini. Persuasion. Uh, 15. Oh no, I don't have this he kind of scowls at you but he's like no offense oh, of fine, course but fine. when this is all said and done if i don't have that mask there will be hell to oh of course all right 
And he looks to his man, he shouts, Do any of you speak to Draconic? Uh, I don't, I don't think know. any of us speak Draconic. Okay. Nope. Well, he shouts out to them as something Draconic, and they all start to cheer. Uh, but as he does let you guys kind of go about your way, but as you do kind of begin to head back, uh, Zaus and Rini, that same man from before, uh, Horogar, the giant hulking minotaur, he just he walks up. There's something odd about your story. I mean, well, it's probably because it is the first time the other adventurers have heard it, and uh, we might have. I'm sure they're not going to be happy about it, yeah. considering one of their friends. You were friends with Bo Finhorn. Well, more like traveling companions. Well, that's that's more than I can say. I was more yeah. like, more like a babysitter. I I knew yeah, his sister. That is well. I All got, right, uh, uh, decided to go on this journey. Well, then who are his friends? None of us. Uh, he looks up uh, Terra Limbero and Bailiff. Did I well, say anything, or I can't speak for myself, but. Uh... They may. He, he walks over to the blue Terralin. Mm -hmm. Hey, blue one. Everyone looks I've at gotta him. Look, I've got to look back All at him. All three of us look at him. Yeah, and so do I. Uh, the female <laughs> blue one. What? Look at Vela. Okay, no, he points <laughs> to Terralin. At this point, he just. <laughs> I forgot that I'm blue, alright? It's fine. <laughs> All three of us are blue. Yeah. <laughs> you were both Finn Horton's friend. Uh, once upon a time. As you say that, he very much gives you a very angry look. Well then. <laughs> I hope you didn't. <laughs> well then. I never... <laughs> Bela looks so con Bela literally doesn't know who Bo is, and she just looks con Well, you've yeah. heard of Bo. We've talked about barely. him. Barely. I've barely, barely heard of Bo. Barely. Well, he looks at you and says, I hope he wasn't, uh, I hope he wasn't a good friend of yours, as he just kind of spits down right at your feet. Mm. As he begins to kind of lumber away. Uh. I'm not as he as he shouts back to Brini and Zaus. Something still doesn't feel right about it. But Archon seems to like you, so I'll let you pass. I yelled to him, "Don't you worry, friend. We will gain your trust over time." He has a axe, right? Uh, Torgar. He has two. Yeah. He has, he has two, two scimitars. Axe. Two scimitars. Glowing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As, he, as you say that, Zaus, he's just kind of like... <laughs> so his armor looks like nice and shiny, or...? Well, Torgar looks like he does in the image I showed you. Okay. Um, so. can I soil his armor? Ow. Oof. <laughs> uh, what thing are you doing? Are you gonna instantly <laughs> tarnish the arm? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, he's not really wearing armor, but like his bottom half, you can soil. Right, yeah. Yeah, let's make it dirty. Alright, roll me a sleight of hand, unless you want him to know you're doing this. I mean... I'll roll it, but... I mean... Holy oh shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> Literally in the Alright. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's funny. He, he, that's really he, good. he does, like, as he does look back to Brini and Zaus, he's like, I'm going... Be on your guard, because something doesn't add up. But as he's saying that, and he walks away, you guys notice the back of his, like, his loincloth turns brown as if he just shat himself as he walks back to, um... <laughs> I just try not to laugh. As he just walks back to the rest of the crew. I feel like he does that somewhat frequently. Alright. He doesn't notice. I did roll, and I did not beat that. 
<laughs> he did be the that funny. Alright. Um, oh. Whenever we get to a more private area, I pull Brainy to the side and like. Alright, so Brainy. you guys start driving over to the mirror. Uh luckily for you there's no giant gaping sarlacc pit, so Oh. Well I I called Brainy down into the, the driver's cockpit, because you know Brainy's I'm like, yo Brainy, if we do find this mask in those watchtowers. I would like for you to grab it and not. Yeah, I'm. To <clears throat> him. Yeah. I'm glad we're um... on the same page. <laughs> you have yeah. a skill set that some of us do not possess. Three out of five isn't bad, but four out of five is too close for comfort, I believe. I do agree. Even three out of five is a little close, but. And uh, I should be able to grab it without anybody seeing. I mean, you might even have trouble seeing if, well, even with knowing. Well, I suppose if they can't find it, I'll know I'll know. All right. So. Hey, Avon. What is it, Barrow? Can I do a stunt? Sure. <laughs> Dex check. I want to die. No, oh, no, you no. Fail. no, no. Fucking kill this bike, Avon. Destroy it. No. I don't think I can destroy Destroy it. You, there's I there's, a, there's ah. a malfunction that just disables the vehicle. Yeah, but I don't know if he got it. Let me, the first, let me check what happens when he fails a stunt. I think he has to, or they have to roll a d10. All right. D, yeah, d10. Okay. Otherwise, the other, if a check fails by five or more, which it did, the devil is right. And all creatures riding it immediately fall prone as the bike wipes out and comes to a dead stop. So. Barrow tries to do something cool, but then immediately wipes out and, like, kind of crashes on the ground. Oh, I'm so I, happy this happened. I, 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 that was right, um... Demon, and they turned right. around and right up next to Barrow. Uh... Doesn't say anything about taking damage, so I think literally Barrow just, um... Wipes out. <laughs> Sweet. So there's no, there's no downfall. I love okay, it. Okay, wait. There. Okay, never mind. There's gonna be a penalty now. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say. Boo. All right. You, you take three bludgeoning damage, Barrow, as you, you know, fall to the ground. Oh hell yeah! Yourself. I'm at 69 health. Fuck yeah. yeah. Dude, I just. Had Let's go. I'm at 69 health. Let's go. All right. <laughs> but luckily, your devil's ride is still worth fine. It. It's just. On the ground. You gotta pick it back no, up. That was totally worth it. Alright. What happened with the stunt? Barrel, as, yeah. you can, as you can see in the chat, Barrow rolled a natural one. <laughs> and I took three damage and now I'm at 69 health. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys once again make a long kind of drive across this land. Luckily, no Sarlacc pit. Um, this is about like another, like, this goes on for like 12 hours or so, and you guys are getting very tired. Weasley. So, so my uh, AC is gone, right? Um, At this point, yes. That's fine. And Terralyn, you are no longer blue. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Oh, See, I didn't want to. I didn't want to waste the spell slot just in case that happened. I'll have to stop the music now. I'm sad. Oh wait, I forgot. I gotta change the music. <laughs> Listen. Oh. Ooh, I'm a tea, I'm a tea. <laughs> right. I actually do hate to be that guy, but I really need to use the restroom. But um, Take I will say before feet. you guys immediately go to rest, you do actually make it to the. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll be right back. Yeah. So, does anyone wanna <laughs> wanna play some dice? Listen, can we play some dice? Oh, sure. I mean, I don't. I don't use my uh, special dice with friends. Well, listen, um, I have a special dice game I like to play, and then Vaylith explains it. It's basically blackjack with roll d sixes until you get twenty. Hmm. Well, not until you get 21, but, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just blackjack with dice, kind of. I'm down. 
I'm down. I'll watch. All right. So first we roll 3d6, right? Yeah, we roll 3d. I'll hit again. So I'm at 13. I'm at 18. Hmm. I'm at 13. How much were we betting, by the way, before we did <laughs> Uh, like ten to one. Uh, I don't even have money. I have, I have platinum. I have platinum. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have change? Uh, we could do one platinum or ten gold. Yeah, uh, that would be a platinum. I'm at nineteen. I'm at That's eighteen. Yeah, it's nineteen. Well, guess I'm going again. Ooh. I bust. Uh, six. I'm at 19. Pharaoh and I would tie. I'm at 23. So. Good job. So Pharaoh and I could just tie and split the pot. <clears throat> that could be how it goes. Uh, I pass five gold to each of you. Okay, yeah, that works, I guess. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, well, unless Barrow okay. wants to hit again, because I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's a, two uh, it's a one third chance. I think I fucked up the description um, when I came. I'm just a, I think it's different, but it's oh, blackjack but with dice. Also, you you distinctly supposed to all roll at the same time before you. Hi, uh, what's yeah, happening yeah. with the D six? We played. We're the, playing blackjack. The, the, the my my. Die. All right. Okay. Uh, we all here. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Kahuna. Kahuna might not be. Hello. I'm glad I got everybody to say Kahuna. Kahuna's name. <laughs> I'm sure Kahuna thoroughly enjoys it. It's good. Well, I asked Kahuna a question earlier and he didn't answer. So. All right. Oh, oh no. uh, what was the question? What your health was. Oh, I'm full. No, like, what is it, though? Oh, 64. You just need to roll a five on your next uh, level up. I know, right? That's easy. You I rolled too high for 69. Felt bad. So, same. All right. Welcome back, all of you. Um, that that situation went a lot differently than I thought it was going to, but props to you. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it would have ended well if it was a fight <laughs> with five dragons. Oh, you mean five dragons uh, a tricked out had Dragonborn and a Minotaur? I don't know. And the cruel guy. Oh yeah. And the Abishai. And, and a turtle and an army and uh, an army of undeath. Yeah. yeah. And, and probably some of those other TPK dragonborn. Is, it's almost like we were fighting a high champion of a god. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Wild. So, after about twelve hours on the road, you guys are a bit tired, but you eventually do reach So, you guys see, as you drive up, a giant slab of ice that is wedged at the end of this <laughs> craggy ravine. And through its surface, you glimpse a glacial landscape draped in snow. You guys do have to leave your machines behind as, um, about, like, 30 minutes on a more narrow path to get up to the mirror. I'm assuming it's fine. Yeah, we just leave it with the, the boy. That yeah, Crick and Dope. Uh, do you want Lulu to come with you, or do you want Lulu to stay with Crick and Dolph? Uh, I'm just always assuming Lulu comes with Alright, Lulu's with you. Yeah. Your your map opens up, uh, Vela. It states out, Mirror, mirror, made of ice. Look within. At what price? Made of ice? Yeah, made of ice. Made of ice. So... Did you pre did <laughs> that's you the part you think that that's the part you reflect on, not yeah. the price part. You're like made of ice. Look, hmm. I'm a fire wizard, okay? All right. Yeah, this you do awesome. approach this icy slab, and you do see a mirror by it. Approach the slab at a price is what the map said. 
What price? Do you think we can throw some gold at it? Veileth shrugs and walks up to the slab. All right. So Veileth walks up first, and you look into the mirror. For sure. All right. You stare into this mirror. It's like it's actually a very big mirror, today, but um, you do notice in it there seems to be this. Um, you know, it basically is like an area of like a frozen tundra on the other side, ice cold. And there's a big old tower of ice far off in the distance. Uh, roll me an Arcana uh, check, Veleth. That's interesting. Alright, you have no idea what any of this shit is. Veleth <laughs> shrugs and turns around. Alright, you turn around. What was your question, by the way? I was just like, oh, that's interesting. Alright, so you do turn around after getting up to it. Yeah. Uh, do any of the rest of you follow? I will. I'll walk up. Yes. <laughs> Alright. You all approach Certainly. the mirror. Alright, so you're right by the mirror. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and look into it. Alright, Zaus, you look into it. Same thing before. Tower. Icy frozen tundra. Or kind of check these us. You know what? For a 24, I'll give it to you. You've heard of tales of devils and demons. This is about another devil. Mesto Me Mephistopheles. Not just any ordinary devil, but Archdevil. Ruler of the land of Kania. That tower's house you've read before, known as Mephistar. Hmm. What exactly were we looking for over here again? Mephistopheles. We were trying. Yeah, we we're gonna ask him how to let the boy out of the uh, the obelisk. Or we were gonna ask him to let the boy out, whichever. We're... All right. Oh yeah, e either yeah. or. Yeah. You as know. as you do say that, some something does kind of come up towards the mirror on the other side. It's actually, uh, Cambian. Very much. Dark blue. Um, you've seen a cami before. That was back with the. Uh... Oh wait, I haven't never shown you guys it. Here we go. Yeah, I've never seen cambian. Um, you actually fought a cam. You fought a cambian back oh, yeah, during this the boy. the travel to Candlekeep. Yeah. I say. Yeah, he's the boy the who wanted the shield. I say the mirror. Oh. Nice wings, my dude. All right, you do notice all of you as he walks up his face is like screaming in anguish but not really like it looks like it's in horrible agony but it's not moving at all but as you say that comment Zeus, he pulls out a teapot pours it onto his face and the face kind of moves a bit like uh thank you uh, thank you and as he stops the moment he stops talking his face turns back into that anguish look and then freezes up Uh, am, am I the only uh, one that sees this, or...? You all see him, No, man. I... Yeah. Um... Hi. As he, he pours uh, the water on his face. Hi. What is it? Uh... Are you Me... Uh... Me Mephistopheles? No. I am not Mephistopheles. I do serve... Master Mephistopheles. My name is Rigorath. Oh. Oh, hi. Do uh, you have any idea how we might contact him? I am his emissary, so do you need to tell him I spelled that wrong? And tell me. Could you ask him to, like, to, uh, like, so, like, there's this obelisk, like, on the other side of Avernus. Huh? And, uh, uh, could you ask him, like, turn that off or whatever? Hmm. Apparently, gonna, there's one a... of Mephistopheles's, um, people went there to tell the man tramp there that 
Mephistopheles could help him out, but he turned him down because he wasn't in the right mindset. And now he wants Mephistopheles' help. I see. Give me one moment as he watches he flies back towards the tower. Anybody else peer through the mirror? Oh, okay. All right. Carolyn, you look through the mirror, see that same tower. No idea what the hell any of this. How long do you stare in, in it for? A while. I'd say. If wow. nothing's happening, then I wouldn't have any reason to look away. Alright. Uh, roll me a one perception check, please. Perception? Okay. Can't All right. see shit like always. Uh, yeah, I... You okay. didn't notice anything. Can and I before like... you can... Oh, yeah? Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Hey, you can go first. No, you're just explaining something. Alright. I was gonna say, Riggle Raph returns. As he kind of comes walking up, pours the water in his face. Ah, yes. Ubalax. Found record for him. You wish to help free him from his imprisonment? We have to in order to get some information from him. I see. Well, for him to find somebody to get him so we can get him. It's, a, it's convoluted. Yeah, it's a whole process. <laughs> Isn't it all? It's a wild goose chase. Whole process for yeah. days. He's uh, Rick Raptor responds, "Isn't it always?" As you literally watch him yes. pour boiling water on his face so he can talk. So I think he gets the idea of a complex situation. All right. After speaking with Mephistopheles, uh, we have come to this conclusion. We will. We will show him, or we will give him the way to escape, if, since I'm assuming he is incapable of doing this, you guys will have to do it in his stead. One favor for us. What well, would that entail? The severity of the fate. <clears throat> it is quite simple. There is a part of the river Styx that uh, must be dammed up. How would we go about doing that? That. We have. We will do. We will cover that for you. All we ask is that you provide protection to the person who will be doing it. Protection from who? Um, Where on the river stick? Yeah. So at this point, he does. Um, you have a map I can show you. Yep. All right. Yes. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is the part where you guys uh, hate me again, as he very much has. Is it the other side of the thing? You must go to the pits of Shumrath. <laughs> And uh, look, <laughs> as long as we're not going against Archon at this moment, I'm fine. To all be right. fair, we do. <laughs> we have already to gotta go, go all the way down there. Yes, so. we do have to go all the way back to the monument of the Yeah, so Rigorath, you know, pouring the water and says, There is a little crack here as he points to on the map. Right about there. Wish to dam it up. One of our own will easily do the job. Best. What do you... Yes? What exactly is the point of damming it up? If I know you don't know. Um, he, he smirks a bit, and he just kind of just like, that is for us to know. Who, who, why would they need protection? Who would be opposing this damming? Um, I assume the people who want to steal souls from the river. Also, if there's no more river, it can't steal the souls. You know, you know, damming things up are people aren't always friendly when you damn things up. So how about it? You help our associate here dam that parts of the river sticks. Exchange. Give you the give you how to free the locks from his prison. Sure. And from what it sounds like for all of you, he's free. He could probably. Give you whatever you need. Who would be coming with us to dam up the river? He snaps, uh, Rigoroff snaps his fingers, and you watch out of the snow, like on your side of the, the mirror. This is kind of like I see a little imp comes out. Just, uh, huh? 
uh, you there. As um, the imp also kind of pulls out from the ice a bag. Discount. He is the one who must escort and help out. Mm. Very simple. Okay. So he'll follow our orders and helping him get there and such? I'd assume to an extent. Uh, Rigorath explains that he will do his job and you guys keep him alive to do it long enough. It'll all be good. Okay. Alright, so now one of you, as he does kind of snap his fingers, uh, some of the snow around you begins to melt, and a little, uh, the imp pulls out a cup, gets some of the water in the cup, just so we all have this agreement. One of you will need to drink this. I'll drink it. Alright, uh, Brini. Are you Brini sure? down. I think I can drink it. Fuck it. Don't right. I think I'm saying I to Brini's mind, please do not do that. Uh, Rini already said they drank it, so... Uh, you it, Rini. <laughs> we're, just, we're just going at it. It's been a long Good. time since you've had, like, cool mountainside water, but, uh... You did. It's, it tastes very nice and cool. So nothing actually happened? <laughs> nothing we happens. made a deal with... <sighs> yeah, I feel like that. Listen, it's all very simple. Keep the imp alive, let him do his job. Once the job is done... I think that'll happen, all right? Well, now I suppose we don't have a choice, and then she glares over at Bree. I mean... At which point, Rigoroff says, probably don't. I mean... We we're gonna do it anyway. What's the point? In fighting it. You know? That sounds very good. At which point, though, Rigoroff kind of backs... His face freezes up again in pure anguish. And he heads back into the. All right. Well, I suppose we should get moving then. I look down to the imp and I say, "Follow us." All right. The imp just kind of responds. He has a little, he has a bag with him, but yeah, he he sticks with you guys. So, imp, what exactly is the purpose of damming up this? That's for, uh, as he points to the mirror, him to know, and he kind of says, and he says, for us to maybe find out. I don't know. What's your name? Uh, you ask him that, and he kind of is like, no, I don't think I really have one. Well, we need to call you by something. Would you uh, like one? Just call like him. him. I mean, I feel like in Avernus there might be other imps around. I don't know. Alright. I'll uh, call you Bob. Yeah, let's go with Bob. Alright, that's my name, Bob. Bob sounds good. Alright. Actually, let's go with Green. We've had colors for unnamed people. <laughs> Wait, no, but I'm Green. Wait, there. Pink. Let's, let's go with Pink. Mayor of green. Pink? Pink. Let's go with what Pink. What color is the M? Oh, he's red. We've already yeah, had we've red. We've already had a red, so Pink. We've already pink. had red, yeah. Pink sounds good. Alright. So I really don't care. I'm just here to do my job. Very large majority of devils are. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys currently at the Mirror of Mephistar. What is your plan right now? I don't know, really. It's kind of like we just took on three missions at the same time, almost. We so have we so head many back quests. Archon, we head back to Archon. We go do the Watchtower. Instead of well, how Going... long has it been? Is the watchtower ready to set up yet? It's been. You, well, guys, it you us... guys have been driving for 12, 12 hours it, straight. Yeah, it kind of okay. has been about 22 hours since we last slept. Okay. Uh, more like. Actually, shit, yeah, you you guys are all pretty tired right now, too. Probably more like 23 or 24 hours at this point. I mean, Archon, Archon said he'd be ready in 24 hours, so. I will, yes. I will be nice, and I will say that. He's not expecting, like, punctuality of, like, 24 hours to get here, but it's, like, more like when you are all ready to go, after 24 hours, we will be ready, too. So I think the plan is we well, go do a... the watchtower, and then instead of going back immediately, we go do the dam and get the 
Well, we do have this devil. We do have this imp in our charge until we finish the dam. Yeah. And, uh, no How events. long will the dam take? Uh, I'm assuming you're asking Pink. I am asking Pink. <laughs> like, uh, honestly, uh, not really too long. I just gotta plant some of these babies as he taps his bag. And, what are um, they? He kind of looks to you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you that or not. But, I mean, what's uh, the harm? I mean, you didn't say the... you couldn't tell us. Yeah, it's not like we can't help you now. Uh, who's the one who signed the contract? Me. He looks to you. Um, he telepathically tells you in your mind, Brainy, what these things what he has in his bag. Mm-hmm. He has these things called shatter sticks, which are basically these little blue, you know, fake stats um, they use in his level of hell, Anya. And that um, they're basically designed to blow things up. Okay. I, I will say for the sake of things, I uh, think dynamite acoustic. Okay. So what exactly is this pit that you're damning? What is it? Uh, I honestly got no idea. Uh, the boss just tells me what to do and I do it. I asked the map Does the about map? It. No, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you asked the map and you specifically call it the pit. The pit of Shumra. The pit of Shumra. Oh, oh, when you said damning, you get you, you, um, I guess I got confused. Don't matter. Okay, so do you think of a dam like a a beaver, a beaver's dam? You know, blocking something off. Yeah, That's just what, debris. Yeah, he's just gonna away. not like a he's just gonna blow up the things around it. Concrete dam. All right. He's just gonna stop the flow, the flow of snakes. When you pull up a pit of uh, an astrocatographer. Oh yes, the pit of Shumarat. Here you find a sticky situation. Poor Shumarat isn't the fiend he it used to be. And that's it. That's... Uh, the cartographer really notes nearby, right? The pit is also known for being it's gooey too. Also, do oh, not okay. go in the pit lest oh you God. suffer the effects of. The river sticks. Also, hold on one moment. Again. Yeah, whatever. I don't really give a fuck what happens to hell. We can do yeah. whatever we want. My confusion with the dam was, um, I thought it was down here or something. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm missing. Got a lot of people Wait, are calling out to me today. Is huh? not down yeah. here somewhere? Right. Little... No, no, no. I thought it... someone had pinged down here when he was talking about it, so I thought you were damning some fuck down here. Yeah, yeah aren't, we right. ping... aren't we damming up this? Yeah, 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 I think so, right? Yeah, the crack. Yeah. Right. yeah we're crack. getting the crack and having them blow it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you guys are all pretty tired right now. Um, you can keep going on, but then you're going to all have to start rolling for no, we're good exhaustion. No, long run. I demand it. Yeah, let's just short long, rest. Let's just short right. short rest. Let's take a nap. Short rest does not remove fatigue like that. Okay. So, you guys, I'm assuming just park right outside the mirror to take a nice long rest. Uh, the imp is very, well, pink is very much kind of like, you know, I got a job to do, but you guys all easily convinced him to just wait because you all have yeah. other shit you need to do. All right. Listen, dog, I'm tired. Let me sleep. Ah. All right, fine. I guess that's what happens when you've been driving for hours on end. Yeah. Oh, and I slung. Yes, we did kind of drive. Yeah, and I fell off my bike. Avernus and half. Oh, yeah. All right. I fell off my bike, and I'm just—it's been a—it's been a—it's been a day. It took three whole days from that. <laughs> I probably should have made Barrow take more, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Sixteen? No, you—you you made me take the perfect amount of damage. Sixteen right. health. You're so, going a hundred and I'm like you're going like two hundred and forty feet per six seconds. All right, so one hundred and twenty feet. Per all of you mark off another ration. Well, the dash and um, and I well, do. How many rations have we used? While we're resting, can two. I see if there's any chickens we're, around? Currently, we should have used two rations. Yeah, and Mad Maggie guy, Mad Maggie gave all of you three each. Three. 
Uh, Terry Lynn, if you want to try and find supply, you want to try and find an abyssal chicken. Roll me a survival oh, check. Survival. Twenty. Uh, Ooh. even in your tired state, you do notice a few kind of off. There's like two of them, like you know, eating at or picking at something, but you notice them. Hey, y'all, wake me up, and I'll take a shift in, like, six hours. Are you going to do anything, Terlin? Yeah, can I, can I hunt them? Uh, sure. How do you hunt them? I don't, I don't know. I got a bow. Just hit him with a hot, scorching ray. Make him uh, <laughs> scorching ray. Okay. Yeah. I might as well. Like, I'm about to sleep, right? I can always help you out if you need. Yeah. All right, sure. Uh, roll me a to hit. I don't want to roll Scorching Ray, though. I'll roll... Uh, right. Level 5 Scorching Ray, do it. Level 5 Scorching Ray? That would, yeah, that just, would just basically give you, like... Chicken. I'm pretty sure that would just give you, like, 6 or 7 rays to shoot. Yeah. Really yeah. Increase the you game. literally just blast a hole in the chicken. <laughs> so anyway, I started blast. Alright, so... <laughs> show me how um, you're going to hit it. Uh, 12. Oh, it only... Yeah. Uh, a twelve will miss, unfortunately, as you do shoot one ray, okay. but you have two more. Yeah. A twenty-eight will hit one of them. Twenty-one will also hit the other. Uh, I'm assuming you're aiming them both at the same chicken. Sure. All right. So, go me the damage. Just for Six. fun, can I cast banishment on one of the chickens? All right. You easily. <laughs> Uh, kill one of the chickens with that. Uh, the other one does take notice of you. I'm going to roll to. Are you actually casting passing damage? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, on the other chicken, so it has to make a <laughs> what? charisma saving throw. DC 17, by the way. Uh... You're gonna fucking hate me, but the the fucking chicken rolled a nat 20, so he he has a minus. <laughs> He has a minus three Get in charisma fucked. too, so he matches your DC. Get Listen, how many Absolutely. people does Listen. one chicken feed? At level five, Avon. Okay, roll to hit with the guiding bolt. D twenty <laughs> plus, I think nine is your spell attack and modifier. As this chicken comes charging at the two, oh, actually, are you fucking serious? No, thirteen will hit it. Okay, yeah, I'm aware. Just. Plus nine, I got a third. Yeah. Oof. How many? How many? How much damage is this at level nine? Not level nine. What is your oh, actual... Sorry, at level five. That's what I meant to say. It's a D six plus each one, so this is level. You have eight D six radiant. Eight D six radiant damage. Good. All right. Uh, I'm you very much just exploded into chunks compared to the scorched one that's on the ground. Good job. That's it. That's me. I'm done. I don't even. All right. That was a good soft cam. Ireland, if you're gonna try and harvest the chicken for food, roll me another survival check. What? You can try and harvest mine for food. Oh. Uh, I'm yeah. saying eighteen. Oh, well, Let's take that about, first one. Yeah. You get well, about. Well, it didn't go through, so I clicked it again, and then it went through twice. I'll keep. I'll, I'll let you keep the eighteen. You get about like two rations out of the bird sub chicken. Anybody want some chicken? Damn. I'll take some chicken. Uh, I'm good. All right. So, Vaylet got a 25. Nothing out of the ordinary. Vaylet's very nice, cool area you're in. Uh, anyone else doing watch? I'll take a shift. All right. So, Brini, then Barrow. Oh, Brini's first. All right. Uh, you want me to just do quick adult for the last one? Sure. Yeah. All right, he got good a last 13. Time. I will say Barrow, since you did get the highest one. You do notice at a certain point. Let me just put on some. Combat. Um, you do see another imp flying up toward. Uh. Do anything? Um. So wait, is it flying towards us? Yeah. Um. Uh, 
Uh, I'll let it. So it's it's coming towards us, right? Oh, yeah. so it's coming directly towards us. Yes. Even though we're inside of the bubble. Uh oh, that's right. Uh, so let me. I gotta roll to see if it even notices you guys. Not on that roll. It's like kind of like flying in the area. You do hear a mumble something to itself, but you do not speak infernal though. I'm, so, so, yeah, it's just flying around the um, area, but it can't really find you guys. I'm gonna ask the shield to telepathically uh, ask it what it wants. All right, Gargarith, you pull him out. He suddenly just looks shocked. He's like, "What the fuck's happening?" But then he does hear it in his voice. Um, so, for a conversation, uh, Gargarith pipes up to you, Barrow. The imp says that. Who had business with his master, and called Basil. Basilstein. 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 Who the fuck is Basilstein? It's the the horn devil from the doctor. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah, Basilstein. Okay, yeah. Do you want uh, me? I guess I'll. I guess I'll. Yeah, tell him to come over here. All right, you. Gargarita directs the imp towards you. Telepathically talks to you. Oh man, it was very hard to find this little hole you have. You guys are kind of supposed to find something. Uh, uh, but yeah. yeah. Sorry to bother you. Um, wanted to let you, Basilstein wanted to let you know that his bathosphere test is ready to go, and whenever you guys are down, he'll uh, come on by and he'll get we'll get started. Okay, tell him. Um. Do we want to go at, like after the the, the watchtower thing? Uh, the rest or... of your party is currently asleep. Oh. Uh... Uh, like I said, uh, just come on by when you guys are ready. I guess. Just you know, don't keep us waiting too okay. long there, eh? It kind of gives you. A... It, it. We'll probably be there in like a day or two, like a day. All right, fine by me. As um. He goes off. He flies off to let Basil sleep. Cool. Are you rolling an insane? Shut up. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Just wanted to contribute. I guess not. All right. I guess I'll tell the next person. I guess I'll tell uh, Crick and Dalt to do his shift. All right. And lastly, we got one last thing. Hey, Vela. Come out, Vela. Terrellin. Oh, I was excited. Sterling, <laughs> you find yourself actually back over by that giant dragon skull as um, oh. Archon, Rule, and Torgar are kind of sitting at a table planning things out. Your Archon mentioned, ah, yes, I think that's a tower where Krabbies can probably send them in to. Uh, Pose of Kravis and get the mask. You hear Torgar pipe up. Pardon me. But these people do not seem trustworthy. I'm sure you want to kind of go along with this. Darkon kind of pipes up. Ah! Come on, Torgar, don't be like that. These guys... They had one mask. They did say they killed both Finhorn. Uh, but sir, responds Torgar. One of them says they disintegrated his body. story doesn't fully add up. They never even asked them how they actually managed to best him. Even Ulta said that Bo Finhorn was apparently a, a god among men. One of the strongest people out there in the material plane. And you expect these people to... Sir, yeah. But Archon's kind of like, listen, alright? Ulta you know, may have fabricated some stuff because he I've got his ass handed to him in his final report, but... Look, I don't need this shit right now, Torgar. So how about you... Go, you go back to the Material Plane and get Ultis out of jail so we can find out exactly what happened, alright? But I don't want to hear any more word of this, okay? At which point Torgar responds, As you wish, my lord. As he steps out. And Archon looks to Kroll. Man, the nerve of some people. 
and they continue to get back to work on their little preparation. Very nice, big place, Terralyn, with the, the, the Abashi out and about. Some of the dragons resting. And as you kind of fade from the dream, you guys wake up and kind of have to figure out what the hell it is you're going to do next. Um, so like, first thing is as well, I'm going to be like, we have a problem, potentially. What's that? Um, so, uh, Archon just sent, uh, the big dude who, uh, shit his pants. Um, I can't remember his name. Torgar. Uh, yeah, Torgar. him. Um, mm. go get Ultis out of jail. No, I know his name in meta. Oh, okay. I mean... Uh-huh. <laughs> so, that potentially is a problem. I mean, Ultis doesn't know where Bo is. No, but he knows we were there on the boat. I mean, we were companions yeah. with him. That, it adds up with our story, I believe. Yeah, that we adds just, up. We were companions just, uh, with him. I mean, obviously it's all fake, we... but the story goes yeah. we turned on well, oh, or at least me and Zoust. Well, the Minotaur seems to be causing us a lot of problems. We could find a way to see, to make him seem, you know, implausible. During this, uh, if he comes with us to the Watchtower, we could always, you know, I doubt that. Get him alone. I mean, find a way to get um, Archon not to trust him anymore. Oh, that's that's fair. <laughs> Make him seem like he's trying to twist Archon's own words against him. Benefit uh, himself in some way. I think I may be able to help out with that. Alright. Oh, yeah. Cool. That there, sounds good. There could be a few options. Yeah, we, we got work, we, we got it. This is a, this is a choose your own adventure book. I do believe that is the least <laughs> on the nose option out of the. I think yeah. there's three we have at this very moment. Oh, wait, did, Barrow, did you tell him about uh, Basil, Basilstein's request? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, while we're talking about things that are happen, happening, um, Basilstein, the guy from the sticks, uh, from the oh, Stygian right. dock, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah his, his thing's done. So, like, we can go do that whenever, like in a day or two. A thing? A the, 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 the thing with... Yeah, we get in the giant ball and we go under the river sticks and collect souls. Right. I believe I was present for this conversation. You all were, and the, the, the deal... I thought it was only two of us that were talking to him about it. Zaus was, was the main guy talking to him, but he told you all about it. And the, the deal was yeah. you help him test this thing out and he'll give you a free upgrade to your Infernal War Machine. Okay. Yeah. So whenever we do our things, we can go do that. Sounds good. All right. So where are you guys headed next? So I think the plan uh, is we do the watchtower. Yeah. And then they go back. We get the hand. On the way to the Tower of Worm, we do the dam. And yeah. All right. And I'm assuming so that sounds... You didn't give Archon the first task, did you? No, no. I'm holding on to that. Good. I yeah, made sure of that. Specific because... point of interest. Alright, so, guys, get back in your machines. Uh, Pink the Imp is with you guys, too, just a little bit salt, like, wondering when you guys are actually going to go to the pit, but he doesn't really have much of a Listen, say. Pink, we got errands to do. I'm fine, fine. I'm you're, sure, you're like... Yeah? You're like, t- your top priority. We just gotta do a thing first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we just gotta do one thing. All right. Yeah, you guys- yeah. All right. So you guys get back in your machines, drive off to a monument Our to time. Tiamat. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 10 hours, is- 12 hours. Yep. And that is where we're going to end our session. Wah. <laughs> uh, is MJN here? Don't... That BRB just happened like a minute ago. Fuck. Nope. I don't think she knows that we just ended it. 
Uh, yeah. All right, good job, everybody. Hi, I, I, I want to very much give props to uh, Acoustic and Zast for uh, playing that off differently <laughs> than I would have thought, Darkon. I had, uh, out of interest, how do you think it was going to go? Um, we were going to die. Not that. Um, I mean, there was a point where I was concerned you were going to attack him. And I thought, oh boy, that would be a very, very hard fight for you. We were to win. going to what? Attack him. Yeah. To just try it. Like I think Brittany mentioned, like stealing the hand, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like the hand is literally attached to him. It's not going to be an easy thing to do. There's, there's the smallest possibility that we could have killed an adult white dragon on its own, maybe. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't maybe kill yeah. a white dragon plus anything else. <laughs> You guys got good rolls with your deception. You could, yeah. If you had, if you had, if you had played more to him, uh, I would just say traveling would have been a lot easier. Um, first of all, <laughs> but um, I think you handled it pretty well. I think so. I will let you know right now. You almost got away with it, but Thorgar rolled a nat twenty on his insight, and he beat Sous's deception check. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. That's where you kind of started realizing that there's something wrong with your guys' story. What did That's Zeus, okay. I have a plan did, for that. What did Zeus roll for his deception? A 21 and then 20. He had, he he had his advantage. So, yeah, so... Yeah. And, 29, actually. And if you want to know, Zombru, Torgar's wisdom modifier was enough to beat a modified 20. It's not like... A, must have a high wisdom there, but... By high, I mean... Plus one minimum. <laughs> yeah. yeah, plus one minimum. <laughs> Part of me thought, you know, you guys should have been rolling more disadvantage, at more disadvantage or I had advantage, but I think Archon's been through a lot, and you guys seem like... Oh, hey, uh, MJ, and we ended the session. Oh, okay. What did I get for in that 20 for persuasion? That was for... Alright. Uh, the... oh, you were persuading Archon to... Uh, about... A thing, a that we were um like we we were like enemies of Zarya. Uh, Zarya, yeah. I will oh. say yeah. So you you played it differently than I would have thought, but uh, still played it pretty well. I think it was me. Convinc- I think it was me convincing him that we needed to keep kind of a low profile. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe not so much that I honestly thought at one point um, Rini was not going to tell him about the mask, but. Yeah, it was. I was kind of on the edge. you know one yeah. fifth of the key to unleash Tiamat from her eternal. Yeah, life. we'll figure it I out. Mean, what could go wrong? Yeah, what could go wrong? He's what only got go two fifths right now. Stares into camera. Releasing. <laughs> getting, what could Tiamat? possibly go wrong? Getting getting a step closer to releasing the Queen of Evil Dragon. I mean, I haven't given it to him yet. Well, yeah, you're still a step closer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, obelisk. I also made a pact with the devil, so... No, nah. that's fine. of hand, though. Yeah. Um, obelisk, I thought was pretty good. Um, yeah, so... The guy was very much going to push you to do the experiment before he, he would talk, but... Uh... Oh, and yeah, by the way... Yeah, it was very unfortunate that Zaus, you were the one that got hit by the crowd of damage, because I'm resisted. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's ironic. It's if just, I had put on my mask, it would have been. Anyway, <laughs> I will say, uh, just so you know, each eight stones for eight schools of magic, and because nobody was able to figure it out, that's why I made you do the the random d8s. For, for reference, stones. yes. Uh, what is that guy's name? Uh, the Bulgura. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one. Ubalux. Ubalux. Oh yeah, Ubalux. That's a, yeah, he's a cool. I thought in my head that's a cool name. Then I yes. instantly forgot it. So yeah, he Uber. was the demon who was trapped there by Bell, and he says he can get you guys to Alantheus, Dario's right hand man, in exchange for freeing him. That's why you're doing this whole thing with the pit. <laughs> yeah, um, well, there's so good. many quests that we have though. Fucking wild. Yeah, it kind of exploded, I, and I, I do I do apologize <laughs> for that. But, uh, no, I like it. I like it. I like the. I like how we have choice now. It feels. It feels like we have a lot of choice here, which yeah. is uh, nice. 
Avon, I mean, can you see uh, player to player uh, whispers? Out player of to player, no, I I do not see those. Okay. Yeah. Just ask. I will ask though. Like, I I can't control everything you guys do, so, but if there are like important <laughs> things that that feature guidelines, I will like to know at least. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just. It was this is basically some conversations between me and somebody. What if right. I eat myself into the river sticks with our car against everybody else's will? I mean, Barrow would be oh. fine. Everybody else uh, will have a Barrow would be there. I like that Barrow would be the only one there that's <laughs> cool. Everyone else just fucking flat. I cast at level five. Cast what at level five? Fly. Uh huh. <laughs> Three people, uh-huh. I think. I mean. I'd say you get like a like a like you noticed that Veileth was just driving into the river Styx for no reason. Everybody's gone back into the main code. All right. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, code I will. Code code I will tell my two spellcast, uh, my cleric and Drew. It's a want figure out what spells they want to have prepared when we start next time. Oh yeah, yeah we long rested. Yeah. We've long rested twice this session. And I know, and I only prepared my spell the first time. And all of you... I'll, I'll, so, yeah. I thought, that's why I was needed to know what you guys were doing next session so I could have it all figured out. Uh, also, it's I wild to that pro- I have the most health. Yeah, well, you do have like a plus four constitution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, all right. dumb. You guys want to help me raid someone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, always no. yeah. yeah. yeah I'm always there. Hop in. I'm gonna go play Darkest Dungeon. Go do that, because I'm probably gonna go make dinner after this. I'm gonna go play Valorant. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Can I get uh, MJ and Zombru? Yeah. To, uh, some... Darkest Dungeon has been fun. I've been playing it lately. Darkest Dungeon is nice. good. Okay. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna trust Zombru is in here. I'm I'm, I'm, I I renamed the entire stream. I renamed one of my uh, my characters to Will Smith, and then right. Will Smith died today. It was a bad day. I'm the only raider. Right. Wait, Will Smith died? I just the darkest. Oh, my Will Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah, his, his Will Smith. Also, my thing's only telling me I have one person raiding right now. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> that was me. I it's think me. that uh, you have to be watching for a certain amount of time. To... I've been watching for the entire stream. Uh, I'll just read. If it only says one person, probably not going to come up. No. But you might have to refresh. Just to refresh to like, it pop me into the viewer list. Okay. It was a bad time. I was fighting this uh, <laughs> giveaway. And I was so not happy 22 months. Thank you, Zombro. <laughs> Alright. This. Eyes. Wobble, wobble.